If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you are about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football themed break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every live break spot you purchase will earn you signature club points if you are enrolled, which you can exchange for exciting UA prizes and store credit. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. I'm Common here with Steven. We are ready for an awesome show today. So many big names in the break room. Maybe the biggest, Randy Moss in the replica helmets. We've got Justin Jefferson, Troy Aikman in the minis. Stefan Diggs, Kurt Warner in the Authentics, Terry Bradshaw, Justin Herbert in the jerseys, Emmett Smith, Jalen Hurts in the slabs. Big names across all our series. Cannot wait to get started, Stephen. Uh, how are you doing on this great Sunday afternoon? Uh, I'm doing fantastic. My fantasy teams are projected to win. I'm ready to rip some sweet memorabilia. Hopefully, we get to see that Randy Moss at some point today. I would love it. Randy Moss, full-size Lunar, the replica helmet for 46 bucks. Uh, my fantasy team's doing well as well. We both have Joe Burrow. I've got him in my two-quarterback league. Joe Burrow's off to a great start today. That's one way to put it. Uh, he is <laughs> killing it right now. Uh, I'm here, baby, says Devin Butterworth. Dominic Beluso says, hi, ladies. Uh, we do have also a football here. LaDainian Tomlinson football, elite signature club giveaway uh, that we'll do after the first few breaks. Devin Butterworth looking for a new offensive coordinator. Devin, I got to be honest with you, Steven. I, I'm going to put it out there. Here's the deal. The Bucs need some help on the offensive coordinator position, etc. But Tom Brady, father time, has finally caught up to Tom Brady. Is it Byron Leftwich is their offensive coordinator? Still? I believe so. Uh, you got to hold Brady accountable, yeah, too, guys. I, you I'm, have to. I'm going to agree with you. You that, have to. I mean, father time does eventually win. Yes. Father time is winning against Tom Brady. He looks a very average, mediocre quarterback this year. And you can't put it on the coordinator. Brady is no longer a top five quarterback in the league. Not even close right now. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT, but he is not who he used to be right now. Uh, all I'm going to say is, is that there are two teams from the NFC 
that I think could compete in the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to say win. I'm just going to say compete in the Super Bowl. Because I don't think either, anyone's beating either the Bills or the Chiefs. No, I don't think so either. I don't think anyone. It's going to be the Eagles and the new revamped 49ers. Yeah, with all the other, McCaffrey. All the other offenses, they, they make me sick to my stomach. Okay. The other favorites in the preseason, like the Buccaneers. Their offense is abysmal. The Packers. The Packers, abysmal. Rams, Rams, they're struggling. They're struggling, too. Yeah. The Cooper Cup lookalike offense is will not survive. It can't forever. And those Alan Robinson has to get some looks. He does. And so, so those are the three teams that were like, okay, those guys can go to the Super Bowl, I think. But um, not, no, yeah, not I anymore. Don't think, I don't, I don't think, think they can go anymore. I don't think Tom Terrific is rising again. IGH Outdoor and Sports. Is he going to do better than he's done so far? Absolutely. That's not hard to do, He, he will improve <laughs> on what he's doing right now, uh, but I don't think he's going to be the player uh, that he was, uh, you know, for sure ever again, to be honest. I really do. It's really hard to be the player you were before. <laughs> he's the greatest five. ever. But father time catches up. Uh, we do have some breaks to knock out here, guys. Uh, two virtual dice. We need six or higher. We'll get the show started here. Six and a two, eight on the dice roll. Is their offensive line hurt? Is like their well, running game is. I'll just say not... it wasn't Brady's fault today when Evans dropped the ball because that was a wide open touchdown catch. Evans messed up badly. Uh, I am riding him off. I mean, uh, the dude's accuracy, his his arm, everything just looks really bad right now. Uh, you know, you have seven bad games. That's a lot. When Brady's been written off in the past, he's had Rough two game. bad games. Yeah. Uh, I. Again, I think he's going to be solid, but he's not going to be a top 10 quarterback in the NFL again. Uh, I am riding him off for sure. Chris, we haven't even broken anything yet. So here we go. Uh, we've got ourselves a uh, wheel spin here, wheel spin. Or not wheel spin, chase item of the day, wheel spin, I guess. Rushing touchdown, uh, Joe Burrow. Get a Joey B. That's what he does. Uh, I was spraying jerseys is the chase. Ooh, we're halfway home on that one. Fantastic. I was framed jerseys. All right. Uh, what are we going to do, guys? Let's see. What is Chris Reitmeyer saying? Uh, he, he... Uh, you know, I'm GH and Outdoor Sports, my man. This is the beauty of the break room. We can debate. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and not voice my honest opinion. Uh, it just looks like the guy's over the hill. He could prove he could prove me wrong. He's, He's proven a lot of people <laughs> wrong. Uh, but I am definitely writing him off uh, because he just looks really rough right now and it's mental physical uh injuries on the team the offensive coordinator it's the perfect storm uh for brady not to succeed at the moment uh panthers are a horrendous football team uh and he is playing worse than anyone has against them right now so i'm gonna write him off uh you can come back here in the break room and tell me i'm wrong i respect him a lot he's the goat player uh but this is 2022 uh things are different right now all right. Sorry, Tom. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you're good. What happened? Chris just was wondering if he got the last spot, but the last spot was being hidden. Okay. On the on the screen. So. Oh, you are there. You are there, Chris. Yes. Let I me make sure. You know that you're there. Let me make sure that live break sheet looks nice and neat for Chris Reitmeyer. Chris. So he is there. Ah, uh, he is there, Chris. You are the closer spot. Drop me a number, sir. Ah, uh, there you go, Chris. You're Reitmeyer. not in mini number two. There's only. One person in mini number two and some new guy. Perfect. So, uh, so what do you guys think? Is Brady done? Is he not? Let's let's definitely debate. A lot of fun to be had in the break room. Got to be done at some point. Uh, got to be done at some point. Peyton Manning, uh, was done in a hurry. He was like had an MVP season, broke the touchdown record. He won a, a year Super and a Bowl. half later. He, he was done. He won a Super Bowl, but he was, he was still done. done, and he was still done. And Brady could still win a Super Bowl with that Their defense. Their defense is legit enough to win them one. He could still I win agree. a Super Bowl with that defense. But he's not going to put up the numbers he has. Uh, trick or treat minis. Let's get into the breaks, though. Christian Estridge, uh, Brandon Dudek, Larry Rossland, Ricky Stockinger, Michael Murray, and Chris Reitmeyer. We're close. 20. Uh, Chris is looking for 28 in the minis. Uh, we are down to eight minis left, by the way. Uh, in these eight minis, Justin Jefferson is still out there, uh, Troy Aikman, and Jonathan Taylor. So winding down in the minis. Uh, Brandon, Josh Allen, I think, is the second-best quarterback in the NFL. Mahomes, I think, is a little bit better uh, because uh, he doesn't have Stephon Diggs. I know he's got Kelsey, uh, but Mahomes and Allen right now, almost identical stats, identical touchdown numbers. I still think Mahomes makes more crazy passes than Josh Allen. I'm going Mahomes one. 
Josh Allen 1A, and then Joe Burrow 3 uh, for best quarterbacks in the league. He's just a baller. He's, He's a baller. baller. Got four total TDs today. Uh, so well, let's see what we got here. Uh, and I, by the way, I think Brady's still a good quarterback. I agree with Devin, but he's not a great quarterback anymore. He can't carry the team. He can't carry the team. There's a difference between good quarterback and great quarterback. Uh, Brandon's saying, okay. Obviously, Brandon, you can agree. You can say Josh Allen's better. You can disagree with me. Uh, we all the title to our opinion. Between Mahomes and Allen, it's this close. Uh, that's, that's how And I would rather have Joe Burrow. And, and Steven would have Joe Burrow. So uh, definitely love the debate here in the break room. Uh, the difference between a good quarterback and a great quarterback is massive. A good quarterback could win a Super Bowl with a great defense. Yep. Brady could still win a Super Bowl. A uh, solid that, quarterback. That I'm saying he can still do. I just don't think he's going to be the reason they win a Super Bowl uh, like some of these years in the past. I mean, the year they won it, they started off, I think, 4-3 and three or 3-4, three and four, and then you know, they lost to the Bears on a random Thursday night. The awful Bears. And, you know, he said, Said something to them and they turned it around. They won in the Super Bowl. Look, you never any, know. You if never any, know. If anyone's gonna prove someone wrong, it's Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's the guy that will do it. Uh, the whole has been like that. Yeah, Brandon's saying very close between the two, Brady or Mahomes and Allen. Absolutely. Uh, we have eight clicks here for our divisions, though. Getting into the first break, uh, we've got ourselves Michael Murray up top in the NFC North. Uh, we have Ricky Stockinger in the NFC South. Chris Reitmeyer in the NFC East. Uh, that, by the way, Chris, could be Troy Aikman. Michael, NFC North, could be Justin Jefferson. Uh, Christian Eskridge, AFC North. Brandon Dudek, AFC South, could be Jonathan Taylor. Brandon, AFC East. And Larry out there in the AFC West. Trick or treat minis. We got the first break of the show. Let's see what we got in here. Box 28 out of 30. Oh, my goodness. This is... A double whammy. How about Ooh, this, Steven? What we got? Uh, we've got ourselves a headliner hit. The NFL's leading rusher from last year, Jonathan Taylor. Oh. It's also on a beautiful flash mini helmet. Love that. Uh, that bad boy is fanatic certified, an absolute beast of a running back. And you got a blue sticker. You got a bonus prize uh, in addition to the Jonathan Taylor flash mini. Brandon Dudick in the chat, taking home one of the best running backs in the NFL. Uh, off to a good start this year. It was over 300 yards after a few games. Uh, he didn't play against the Broncos. What happened? 12 points. Yep. So Jonathan Taylor. But a win. I uh, believe <laughs> he's back in the lineup today. Uh, so fantastic kit. Flash mini. Brandon Dudek. AFC South. That's how it's done, sir. Uh, that is how it's done. Uh, that'll do, Brandon. Yes, yes, yes for you. Uh, great start to the breaks for Brandon Dudek. And he's got a bonus item coming up as well. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and show this off. Uh, let's see what his bonus item is. I'm going to crinkle up these pieces of the paper. Uh, you, my friend, are getting a Fred Taylor slab football card. Uh, so it is a running back break. Uh, Fred Taylor, I believe, Stephen, I think it's 17th all-time in the league in rushing. Uh, league history. There. An absolute beast of a running back. Uh, for Mr. Uh, Brandon Dudek. Right, that's a nice looking card right there. It is beautiful. Slap card, Fred yeah, Taylor. Right there. That That is how it's done, sir. You are... Jacksonville's finest. Jacksonville's finest. Maybe their best player in their history? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, so, great start. Uh, that is very nice. Very, very nice, sir, on the Fred Taylor and the Jonathan Taylor. The Taylor break. Yeah. NFL all-time rushing leaders. Uh, let's take a peek here. I believe he was 17th, 17th all-time, Fred Taylor. So I'm going to write these up for you, Mr. Brandon. Uh, so when do we do the break for the ball? Is that at the end of the show, like the wheel spin? Uh, no, actually, I'm going to do it uh, after we uh, get done with the breaks that are full. I uh, want to keep momentum going, boxes being shown uh, we'll do the ball giveaway as soon as we knock out the breaks that are uh, full right now. As long as enough people are in the room, which there are right now, uh, we'll do those uh, football giveaways coming up. A lot of great chatter early in the show. Mahomes mm -hmm. and you know Allen, Brady talk. I mean, 
I love talking quarterback, Stephen. That's what it's all about. It's the it's the main point of convo. It's and it's, there's so many good ones. There's so many good ones in the NFL uh, that it feels like most teams. We're waiting have... for Bob to chime in. Yeah, Bob's got Bob. Daniel Jones is doing good. Yeah, this year. he is. Daniel Jones is doing good right now. But his guy is Justin Herbert, who's another fantastic quarterback. Another one, and he's actually off to a slow start, but the team is still won games regardless. So that is a little scary as well. That is kind of scary. Fred Taylor bonus item. Yeah. Uh, trick or treat for Brandon. Uh, so we are down to seven slabs now. Still looking for uh, Justin Jefferson and Troy Aikman. Seven minis. Seven minis, that's right. Winding down in that series. Uh, all right, we got the football slabs coming up next. Uh, Slabulous. Uh, I actually started with the minis first, but I think the slabs might have filled up first. Uh, they fill at the same time. They fill at the same time. Them both, so. All right, so. It doesn't matter. Let me know on a slab box number, guys. Uh, we will knock out some football slabs here. Uh, how do you get in on the ball, Ethan? You become an elite level collector, which I believe you already are. I'm going to take a peek here at that list as soon as uh, we knock out this break. So give me a number on the slabs if you're in this break. I believe we have through 20 available in the football slabs. Uh, Larry wants six. Chris wanted four. Uh, Larry was first with six. So we'll take out six in the football slabs, and we'll get right into that break. Cool. And then we'll do the ball giveaway. Uh, we will take a look at that list here. Elite break list. Uh, these are all the folks who are elite collectors. Let's see. Fabulous. Ethan Williams. So a lot of times with these elite level collectors, sometimes it takes about a week uh, when you hit that status that you get updated. So I don't see Ethan in here yet. Uh, but Ethan, if you have achieved that elite level collector status, let me know. And I can add you to the list, because sometimes those take a second to update. And I, I trust you, Ethan. Ethan's ordered enough where he's got to be a lead Yeah, he's been, he's, been a, uh, he's been a regular in the breaks. A valued here. regular customer. Uh, so we'll go eight clicks for our divisions. Good luck, folks, in the football slabs. Second break of the show. Steven, what else is close right now? Uh, what else do we have close here on the site, ladies and gentlemen? We are getting close on a lot of things. We're halfway home on the big man on campus. Okay. That's uh, We got three spots left in that. We have three left in our Tiger King. All right. Uh, I know we got a few Bronco fans in the chase. I'm sure they're looking for that Terrell Davis. Yes, but ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of other great names. Yesterday, we pulled Marvin Harrison. We're still looking for Kurt Warner, Eric Dickerson, Michael Irvin. Stephon Diggs, Ray Lewis, those are those are the, the last names in the last, last six boxes. boxes. They're all good. It's absolutely incredible series. Five left in the Trick or Treat Next minis. And then four left in the I Was Framed jerseys. And we have four left in the bats. Perfect. And four boxes left in the bags. Even better. So we got a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, we'll knock out the football slabs here. Uh, we got box six called out by Larry. David Honga, you've got the NFC North. We have a Brett Favre in this series. Mm -hmm. uh, Dwayne Wright, NFC South. Dwayne Wright, NFC East. How about the all-time leading rusher, Emmett Smith? Uh, Dwayne's got the NFC West. We got Jessica, new customer in the AFC North. Welcome to the room. Chris Reitmeyer's got the AFC South. Uh, we got Viet Trin in the AFC East. And Larry's got the AFC West. Uh, so football slabs. Najee Harris would be AFC North still out there. Jalen Hurts, NFC East. Emmett Smith, NFC East. Brett Favre is NFC North. Steve Young is NFC West. So we got a lot of good stuff. Uh, what's up, Thomas Banky? Thomas says, yo, what's up, Tom? Hope all is good. Uh, here we go with the football slab break. Six out of 30. Let's see something good here in the slabs. This one is good. I like this one. I think this guy just got hurt, maybe, Stephen. Uh, right. But when he's healthy, he's very good. We got ourselves a J.K. Dobbins 9.0 mint card, 2020 Panini Origins rookie autograph, uh, nine on the corners, nine and a half on the surface, nine on the edges, 9.5 on the centering. So uh, more than 2,000 rush yards in 2019 at Ohio State. Uh, he had more than 800 as a rookie in the NFL, missed last season due to injury. Already had a couple of touchdowns early on this season, but the injury bug bites again 
When this man gets back healthy, he's going to be a beast. That's the AFC North. And that is the new customer, Jessica. First break ever. One spot in there, Jessica. This slab card worth more than 30 bucks. Nicely done, Jessica. Very nice. Now we're halfway home on the next Trick or Treat Minis. Perfect. We're rolling right now. Rolling in the brakes. Uh, rolling in the brakes uh, for sure. So, J.K. Dobbins. Ohio State's had some good running backs over the years. Good Deke. skilled position players in general. Yeah. Kind of. Deke, uh, J.K. Dobbins. They got a good one right now. Henderson yep. in college. So, a lot uh, of good Buckeyes there's another, out there. There's another. I can't even remember his name. Oh, wow. They have, they have another. They've had so many. They've had so many good ones. They've had so many good ones. All right. Ooh, historically speaking, Eddie George. Eddie George. Archie, Archie Griffin, Griffin at the college level was one of the best ever. Good in the NFL, but obviously better at the college level. Mm -hmm. But only guy to win two Heisman trophies. Back-to-back, oh. uh, -back, Archie Griffin. Pretty insane. All right, elite break list. Here we go. This is everyone who's an elite level collector. There is a little catch here, though. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something we've changed about this. You must be present to win. So we'll do a top spot drawing, eight clicks for the Ladania Tomlinson football, second all time in rushing touchdowns. LT still has the single season record for most total touchdowns and rushing touchdowns. So we'll do a top spot drawing after eight clicks. Whoever's got the top spot is taking home Tomlinson. Uh, if the top spot is not present, uh, they will not win. So we'll go down the list. Next closest name that's present is taking home the Tomlinson football. Five, six, and by present, I mean someone who has commented in the chat. Yes. If you've already commented in the chat this show, I'll give it to you. We also have until the end of the show for you to show up. So uh, comment in the chat uh, from now till the end of the show or from earlier in the show. Three left in the jerseys. That's the chase, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. Wheel spin today. Seven clicks. We got one more. It is Dwayne Wright. Dwayne Wright. Okay. He's definitely been... Uh, he's in the breaks today. Yeah. So even though I haven't heard from him in the chat, he's in the breaks today. Uh, this is going to be Dwayne Wright taking this one home. Because uh, I know he was just in the slap break. He commented last night in the chat. So okay. let's see if he is able to show up. Yeah, D Dwayne Wright, give us a, a holler. But I believe Dwayne ordered this morning. So he is definitely here. So I'm going to give this to Dwayne Wright. I know I know he's here. I just saw his name in the breaks. Dwayne, if you could comment for us uh, just just for the sake of saying, yes, I'm here. Uh, but, I, I, I mean, he, he's here. He's mm -hmm. played a lot recently. Uh, Dwayne Wright is taking home the Ladanian Tomlinson football. So Tomlinson football for Signature Club. Congratulations, Dwayne. Uh, nicely done, sir. Uh, obviously, he did place orders to reach that status, yeah. but didn't have to place an order today, uh, and he won the Tomlinson ball. So this is every other Sunday at 2. So we just had a drawing this Sunday. Uh, next Sunday, we'll have a drawing, or not next Sunday, two Sundays Sunday, from, yeah. from today, we'll have it. Uh, so we have about 20 people watching right now the stream. Uh, so obviously, we have about 100 Signature Club Elite Collectors right now. Uh, so you show up, you might have 1 in 20 chance of winning, rather than 1 in 100, because you must be present to win. So congratulations, Dwayne, uh, knocking out that Tomlinson ball. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a top-to-bottom rundown of the break page. We've been busy with breaks, talking sports, doing giveaways. I have not done this yet. we got two spots to go in the minis. There are just seven mini helmets left. Justin Jefferson and Troy Aikman are two of those seven. Uh, Steven, we also haven't pulled Terrell Thugs or Travis Etienne yet. Uh, Etienne is balling out today uh, in the NFL. Scored a touchdown, had a long run as well. Uh, that helmet is out there. We got eight to go in the football slabs. We are down to 14 slabs left. Uh, Emmett Smith is still out there. Najee Harris, Steve Young, and Jalen Hurts. Uh, and there's also a Brett Favre in this series. Oh. So that is better than one in three chance at a headliner level name in the football slabs. One to go in the jerseys. There one to go in the jerseys. Uh, ten jerseys left. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have one personal, so there's only nine in play. 
I'm giving you guys all the boxes, but only nine in play. Of those nine, Herbert, Bradshaw are in there. Uh, and so is this pre-framed Maurice Jones Drew car or jersey. Uh, not to mention that all the headliners have had framing certificates in them. Uh, $250 value on those. Uh, three left in Tiger King. Uh, every remaining box is in the listing. Kurt Warner, Terrell Davis, Eric Dickerson, Michael Orvin, Stefan Diggs, Ray Lewis. All six boxes left are good. Guaranteed good hit in the Tiger King. Jersey's just sold out, so that's coming up. That's ready for you. Uh, if you're in that break, drop me a number. Uh, we got six to go in the rep helmets. Uh, the Randy Moss full-size lunar rep. Maybe the best hit in the series other than Breeze, which we pulled. Uh, Randy Moss is still out there. Tyree Q is still out there. Uh, so only 12 reps left. A lot of goodies left in that series. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Three to go in the Big Man on Campus College series. Uh, so we got uh, Brian Dawkins mini still out there with eight boxes left. Yes, we pulled the Brady. Steven, we have Devin White still in here. Ooh. Devin Butterworth wants that one. OJ Simpson as well. Uh, great series in that one. It's a uh, college series. It's a great series. I mean, one in six chance, two to win. One in six chance to win. A little different from our divisional breaks. Love it. One in six also in the baseball bats. Glaber Torres, Jose Canseco, Orlando Cepeda, and Andrew Jones still out there. So drop me a number in the jerseys, and let's keep doing uh, breaks today. Uh, let's keep doing breaks. Uh, if today uh, is Elite Collector break, I'm here. Says Richard Atcook. Richard, it is. We just did it. Uh, Dwayne Wright is here, though. So Dwayne Wright uh, won the LaDainian Tomlinson football, Richard Adcook. Uh, second all-time in rushing touchdowns. Uh, Tomlinson signed autograph football going home to Dwayne Wright. Uh, you saw him in that slab break, so uh, we gave it to him. Uh, sorry, been trying to send the message. I'm excited about the card, says uh, J.K. May. That must be Jessica. So, yes. Jessica, excited to have you. I do ask all the new customers uh, where you found us, like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, etc. cetera. Uh, and also, what teams do you guys like? Uh, Ethan says 42. 42 in the jerseys. Okay, okay. All right, Ethan, we'll do 42, and I was framed number one. Uh, this has been a very good series. Uh, we've been admittedly sleeping on it a little bit of late here, Stephen. Sleeping on the jerseys a little bit. Uh, a lot of goodies left for sure, though. Uh, a lot of headliners. Only 10 boxes left. Uh, you have basically a 30% chance at a headliner. Because I'm going to count the Maurice Jones Drew as a headliner. Because that is a pretty framed, framed good jersey. Go. Yeah. It's in the listing. That's a headliner. Uh, Eric yeah. said I had 47 earlier. Uh, uh, what Eric came on YouTube? I don't see Eric in here. Yeah, Eric, I don't... Yeah, I don't know, Eric. Maybe you tried to leave a comment and it didn't go through. I'm not seeing you here, Eric. I don't see it. Yes. On my... Uh... Not seeing it on mine. Let me go to the Ultimate YouTube page, see if something came through there. It was YouTube, no worries, says Eric. Okay. Well, you guys know technology sometimes it doesn't it doesn't work. Uh we're going based off what we saw. Eric is saying no worries. So I think we'll stick with 42. Uh I'm pulling up the ultimate YouTube. Sometimes here. it just doesn't register for some reason. Yeah, I don't see it on YouTube either. That's weird. That is very, very strange. Alright, tell you what, Eric. If you hop in to the next break. Uh, and you're in that break, we can do 47 for you, uh, because obviously that's one you want. Uh, let's randomize these people. Eric says, yeah, it's cool. Awesome, man. Appreciate that. Uh, that is really good of you. Uh, so we are going eight clicks for our divisions. We'll do box 42. Good luck, folks. Good luck. Uh, we had Jessica finding us on Facebook in, in her house. We collect a lot of baseball, hockey, and football. I think we collect players more than a specific team, which is great. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of good players in this break room, that's for sure. All right, eight clicks for our divisions. Thomas Banky is up top. Uh, he's got the NFC North. 
uh, followed by the NFC South. That's going to be a new customer, Paul Marks. Let us know, Paul, uh, where you heard about us and what teams or players you like. Brandon uh, Marusak, he's got the NFC East. Uh, Brandon is a Packers and Bills fan. He was new on Friday. David Hanga, he's the brother of Travis Hanga, name you recognize in the breaks. He's got the NFC West. Chris Reitmeyer, uh, you know, he wins a lot in this break room. He's got the AFC North looking for the Bradshaw. Paul Marks, AFC South. Uh, could obviously be that Maurice Jones Drew. And then we got Ethan in the AFC East. And Eric, you've got the AFC West. Uh, tell you what, Eric, Justin Herbert comes out. You'll be glad uh, that we didn't do your box because uh, you're in the right division for the Herbert here in the jerseys. Uh, Jessica also went on the bat break, Stephen. Yep. Good. All right, here we go. I was framed jersey break number one. Let's see some heat. How about this? You can't make this stuff up. Oh, who uh, is it? Eric McCartney didn't get a chance to call out his box number. Thank get this, goodness. Eric. You've got yourself one of the best young quarterbacks in the NFL. Headliner hit. Justin Herbert in box 42. Uh, 2020 set all sorts of rookie records uh, for passing touchdowns, completions, passing yards per game. Even better last year, more than 5,000 pass yards, 38 pass TDs so far this season. Currently tied for fifth in the league in pass yards after five weeks. And having a down year. And having a down year. <laughs> Justin Herbert, Beckett certified. On top of that, uh, you also got a framing certificate Woo! here. So, framing ticket coming your way. Where did it drop? Oh, there it is. Uh, there it is. Congrats, you won a framing certificate. Uh, Eric McCartney, let us know if you want to frame this jersey. If you want to save it. I would say this is one you want to frame. How many times do you think that's happened over our year-long, year-plus-long career here, Common? Where, you know, someone called the box number just a hair too late. Or, you know, the technology didn't work out in their favor. But it got them. It, we went with a different box number, and then they won the prize. Well, and, and here, here's the beauty of it. Uh, Eric was all class about it. He yep. could have been mad. He could have said, this is garbage. I was first. Yep. And guess what would have happened if he did that? Negative karma. He probably would have lost. This right here is what we call positive karma. Mm -hmm. Eric McCartney taking home the Herberts. Uh, yeah, the Heinz Ward he wants framed, but has to get Herbert framed. Okay, so Quite the predicament. Herbert, so we're gonna go Herbert officially, Eric? Or yeah, Eric, let us know. You can actually take a few moments to mull over it. But if yes, you, you do want to do Heinz Ward, I get it. We could do that as well. He must be a Steeler fan. Yeah. Maybe he just loves Heinz Ward, the Georgia guy. Yep, the Georgia Bulldog, maybe. <laughs> Heinz Ward seemed to be a fan of. <laughs> uh, we did have a Heinz Ward Georgia jersey in that college series that got pulled. Uh, that was good. Uh, Eric says, yeah, Herbert's good. Perfect, sir. Uh, we will get this Herbert jersey framed for you. Oh, it's going to look sick. It's going to look sick. Eric had, what, one spot in there yeah. for 42 bucks. Hits one of the best young quarterbacks in the league. Oh, yeah. Uh, he also hits a uh, framing certificate. Uh, so about $250 value, we say. Uh, this jersey could be worth even more than that. Uh, whatever, all four, five, six hundred dollars uh, you can do the math, but he won it for 42 bucks. Uh, nicely done, sir, on the Justin Herbert jersey. Signed jersey for my birthday, says Eric. That's perfect. That's awesome. Uh, that is very nice. Uh, today is your birthday, Eric. Is it literally today your birthday, or is it, like, coming up soon? Uh, regardless. Mine's coming up soon. Uh, yours is coming up soon, October 28th. Yep. I know that because we have it on the board here at work. Uh, so happy birthday to Steven coming up. Uh, my mom's birthday was actually yesterday. Yesterday, yes. Happy yeah. birthday to your mom. Uh, we celebrated uh, by going to the park. We were what actually going to go. great month October is. It's a great month. It's a big birthday month. My brother, my dad as well. Uh, fantastic. We went to the movie, Steven, as well. Oh, what would you see? Uh, we saw Ticket to Paradise. It was pretty good. A little rom-com action, which is Obviously, what my mom likes, not the Halloween movies. Yeah, I heard some bad. I'm, I'm not a scary movie person myself. Yeah. So I think if that was between those two, I think I'd go see Ticket to Paradise instead as well. Agreed. Uh, George Clooney was pretty funny. I've also movie. heard that the, the new Halloween movie is just awful. Okay. Well, good. I'll have to let my girlfriend know because she wants to watch that one. <laughs> bad um, rating. Gotta let her know it wasn't uh, good. 
Uh, Brandon saying, Bills fan here. Last night was my first break. Lost a lot, but glad I won today, says Brandon. Absolutely, Brandon. Yeah, don't want to harp on it too much, but Brandon took some tough L gesture. Okay. But well, he, he returned today with the W. Positive karma, Brandon. Tiger King Authentics. We have six left. One of the last six boxes uh, is Stefan Diggs, the great Bills receiver. Uh, Steven, we also uh, have a lot of Bills stuff in the room. We get Andre Reid a lot. Uh, Jim Kelly, Thurman Thomas. Yeah. We actually have a jersey in this series. We did pull it. Jermaine Edwards. Uh, but the triple signed Bills jersey. True. That was uh, was very cool. Again, Eddie Bill got Dynasty. a comment on TikTok. You don't see that too often. Yes. It a was Bill, cool. a Bills Dynasty for the name. It was a beautiful piece of sports memorabilia. I love it. I love it. So keep those orders going, guys. Uh, let's keep doing some boxes this show. Uh, taking a peek at the break page. We're close. Huh? Uh, we are one away on the minis. That's coming up. Three away on Tiger King. That's coming up as well. Three to go in the college series. So we'll do a lot more breaks today. 233. We've knocked out, let's see, three boxes, Steven. And we also did a uh, giveaway. So mm -hmm. four pieces of memorabilia. Five. Uh, five pieces? Because, oh, uh, we had the extra Brandon bonus won. kit, too. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good day for... Running backs and Charger players, because we have Fred Taylor, Jonathan Taylor, Ladanian Tomlinson. Then we had Tomlinson and Herbert coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of good stuff coming out in the breaks. Six degrees of connection. Uh, it's everywhere. One in six, man. <laughs> one in six chance uh, you are connected to someone uh, one way or another. Uh, taking a look at these football games, uh, if Tom Brady's going to regroup like IGH and Outdoor and Sports was telling us, does not look like it's going to be this week because the Panthers, without their old coach, without Christian McCaffrey, they're down to like their third string quarterback, Stephen Walker. Uh, they're up 21 3 on the Buccaneers. 21 3, eight minutes to go. Carolina's got the ball. A massive upset. Last week, the and Bucks they're driving. were. Uh, and they're driving. The Bucs were the most bet team last week. Uh, the sports books in Vegas won of money last week they did uh off the box so if you bet the box this week uh not looking good for you uh Bengals up 35 17 on the falcons uh joe touchdown. burrow three touchdowns 441 passing yards he also has a rushing touchdown he's just so i love him so much uh, he's killing it for our fantasy teams uh taj boyd killed it for my girlfriend eight catches 155 yards and a touchdown Jamar Chase has two touchdowns, 116. And T. Higgins on my team as well, five catches for 90 I have yards. Him. I have him on my dad's team, so it's yeah, a perfect so... stat. Brandon closing us out on the minis. Common, I'm sorry about your uh, Giants. The Giants, I bet on the Giants. They're down 17-13, right? It looks like there's two seconds left in the game, though. Uh, that's. I think that's in the third. I think they oh, missed the, the clock. This, it looks like they did. Yeah, they didn't miss through the clock. Oh, there it is, end of third. Okay, yeah. they got some time. They got some time. They got to cover three points. They're down 17-13. Go figure how close betting is. Again, the Giants do like to play those kind of games, though. You know, they that's the whole philosophy, I think, behind uh, I, Dable. They just want to be within a striking And distance. then they'll win close to the yep. end. I just mm -hmm. don't trust the Jaguars. It's uh, very hard to. Bye, Tiger King. Everyone says Ethan. I couldn't agree more, Ethan. There's three left in that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have the... Tiger King is sick. It's Everything is good. Yeah. And it's all in the listing. And it's all full-size authentics or better. Uh, we are sold out on the minis, I believe, Steven. Yep. I'm getting that ready for uh, you. I'm getting the third one up as we speak. Perfect. Speed. Steven's getting the list ready. If you're in the mini break, uh, drop me a box number, guys. There are just seven minis left. Actually, yeah, seven minis seven. left. Seven. Uh, all in the room, all on the ticker in the mini helmets. About to be six. About to be six. Still looking for Jefferson. Still looking for Troy Aikman. Uh, we got a lot of goodies that we are still looking for in the breaks here. All right, there you go. That should be... Uh, Brandon's not picking. He's like, I'm not picking. I'm not lucky right now. Even though, he just lucky. Won, even though he just won. He just won. <laughs> Ethan is lucky. He's going with 30. All right, Ethan. Box 30 in the trick or treat minis. Uh, good luck, sir. Let's see some heat in here. A lot of good stuff in this series. Box 30 out of 30. 
I want to see that Jefferson and that Aikman. Those are the headliners left that are excellent. The photo headliners, you look at the listing, we still got a Travis Etienne and a Terrell Sucks. So pretty much anything coming out of the minis the rest of the way is going to be good. And how many? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still got, so we have seven minis, right? We also have those are for the refs, too. I know, so but I'm trying to count. Yeah. So, so we got 12 refs. So that's 19 total, right? Yes. Eight treats remain between both. So those are pretty good odds. That's pretty, pretty well. good, yeah. Uh, including a Christian McCaffrey Every, ice mini. I mean, can I, can I you show, can show it? it? I showed it off yeah. the other night. Christian McCaffrey ice mini is one of them. A clean helmet, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Oh, that's a bonus prize. That's a bonus. That's a bonus prize. prize. Yeah. Uh, Dom Beluso says he's here for that Tomlinson football. Dom Dwayne Wright won it. Uh, Dwayne was here and in the breaks today, so Dwayne Wright uh, did take home the Tomlinson football. Uh, but always good to know uh, for attendance sake. Figured you were here when you said, "What's up, ladies?" That's usually how we greet you. Exactly. Mike Tedesco. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Trick or treat minis. We got Troy Aikman, well, Justin you. Jefferson still out there. Want to see some heat? This is box 30, very last box in the series. What could we have in here? And we got a bonus prize. Who knows? Who knows? Well, no bonus prize here. It's a yellow sticker. Okay, raise those odds some more, so Common. You were tricked. However, Steven, uh, we do have something even better. Ooh. Uh, I venture to say this is better than any of the bonus prizes. We got ourselves a Troy Aikman oh, Cowboys mini helmet. One of the best quarterbacks ever. Pro Football Hall of Famer. Former Super Bowl MVP. Three-time Super Bowl champ. Number one pick out of UCLA in college. Pro and college football Hall of Famer. That's going to be the NFC East. And that's going to be... Brandon Dudek. Wait, he was the guy who has no luck? The guy who has no luck. He was losing yesterday. You come back, you give it another shot. Just take some two headliners. Jonathan Taylor, yep. Troy Aikman, two breaks, two headliners. He's back. BD, Brandon Dudek. Heck yeah. Let's go, boy, Brandon. Brandon. Nicely done on the Aikman. Bill's Mafia. And not only did he win uh, two of the headliners, he got a bonus hit as well. And I believe he single spot sniped both times. At least this one definitely single spot sniped. Uh, the luck is back for Brandon. Uh, dude is on fire right now. Want to give a shout out to Nathaniel Bartram? All right, Nate the Great. Close the door on Tiger King. He's like, I've had enough. I want to see a Tiger King. I mean, it's a great series, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what's going to be down to an end? Yeah. You're you know not going to be disappointed. Good is coming up. Uh, Brandon, congrats on the Aikman. Great Ethan's hit, Brandon. Saying, Picking headliners but not winning them. Ethan, keep that trend going. Yeah, Maybe you get the one. Randy Moss. You'll get one in due time. In due time. Just like Brandon yesterday. Brandon was giving a lot to the breaks. He was getting single spot sniped. It's returned his favor today. Same thing will happen to you, Ethan. You'll come back tonight and maybe, maybe even today. We'll just... Positive karma. Good old Randall. Randy Moss. Straight cash homie. He's going to come out of there. Would love to see the Randy Moss come out. Uh, so congratulations, guys. A lot of good stuff coming out in the breaks today. A lot of good running backs, good quarterbacks. A lot of goodies coming out in the breaks. The beauty is there's a lot more good stuff still out there. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ethan's saying, I love the Randy Moss and the Tiger King. Uh, Ethan, Randy Moss is in the replica helmets, mm -hmm. the trick or treat uh, Ethan, replica Ethan, you helmets. want Terrell Davis in the yeah, Tiger King. You want That's TV who you want, the Tiger my guy. King. Uh, Ethan saying, let's make that happen. Actually, you uh, won't be disappointed with any of them if you want. Uh, all of these Tiger Kings are good for sure. Uh, all right. Tiger King coming up. If you're in that break, uh, drop us a box number. Uh, just six left. Ethan saying, whoops, my bad. You're good, Ethan. You are good, sir. Uh, so a lot of Nate in here. Nathaniel Bartram, Ethan Williams, Chris Reitmeyer, new customer Dan Grata, Chris Reitmeyer, Larry Rosslin in here as well. So... Drop me a Tiger King box number. We have 33. Ethan wants 33. Let's do 33. Box 33. Yeah, we're down to five in this? Down to five. Woo. It's a good series, guys. It right. is. And I just want to let everyone know that we will have a we have a new set of platinum. Is it, is platinum? 
with the Tom Brady, by the way. Tom Brady's the next diamond helmet. That's the next diamond, but the platinum helmet that we're dropping after this. The left my heart is here. That's good as well. That's so, very good. Fresh new set of headliners. Cannot wait. Yeah. Can't wait, in the words of Bart Scott. Uh, as for Tiger King 33, we'll randomize eight times for our divisions. Let me get a drink here. A lot of stuff coming up. Only 245. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. We can be on for a while today, guys. As long as you guys want. As long as you guys want. All right. Here we go. We will randomize for our divisions. Good luck, folks. Uh, let's see something great. I know we'll see something great because we know what the last six boxes have. True. So everything is good. Stefan Diggs, Ray Lewis, uh, Eric ready Dickerson, to take the name out. Terrell Davis, I mean, Kurt Warner. You can't go wrong with any of these boxes. Six, seven, and eight clicks. All right. Uh, Nathaniel Bartram's up top in the NFC North. Uh, we got ourselves Larry in the NFC South. Nate's got the NFC East. Michael Irvin is out there still. Uh, Chris, you're in the NFC West. That could be Kurt Warner. Uh, we got Ethan, AFC North. Dan Grata, AFC South. Nate's got the AFC East. Uh, Dan's got the AFC West new customer. That could be Terrell Davis. Yep. NFC West could also be Eric Dickerson on the NFC side. True. So let's see what we got here in box 33. We know it's going to be authentic. We know it's going to be great. Uh, just got to see just how great it's going to be. Because, I mean, to be honest with you, Stephen, generally we have not had a bad hit in this series. Uh, not a single I, bad hit yet. I think the worst one was Jarvis Landry on the Saints Flash. That's pretty good. For the worst Full hit. Size authentic. Yeah, that or Dwight Creamy. Yeah. Oh, that's even <laughs> that's that was pretty good too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're talking about the worst hits. Yes. Worst hits in a great series. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Uh what is it we say in the break room? New customer mojo. It's alive and it's well. Dan Grotta. First order ever. First break Ooh, ever. He's getting that. himself a Hall of Fame running back. Terrell Davis. Oh, my goodness. Hall of Fame 17 inscription, 1998 NFL MVP, uh. two-time Super Bowl champ, Super Bowl MVP, led the league in rushing yards in 98 and rush touchdowns in 97 and 98. Terrell Davis, one of eight guys to rush for 2,000 yards in a season. Ethan Williams is crying as a Broncos fan. I am sorry, Ethan, uh, but Dan Grada is... Somewhere out there happy with the Terrell Davis. Full-size authentic. Love this hit. Great helmet. Great player. Dan Grotta, or, welcome to the break room. Or, Dan, if you're not out there, you're going to just have a beautiful full-size authentic helmet show up to your door. A nice surprise. He bought two spots into this, ladies and gentlemen. Still worth it. This is worth a lot Still more than 160 bucks. Yeah. Uh, full-size authentic is worth several hundred bucks without the autograph, without the player. It's a great player. Uh, it is a busy autograph. I like it, though. One of eight to run for 2,000 yards. It's impressive. Impressive. Terrell Davis, uh, I would venture to say he was top five all-time in his prime. He did play a few less seasons, shorter shelf life, uh, but prime running backs, there's only a handful of guys yeah. that have taken over TD. Uh, that's how great he was. Fantastic hit. Congratulations, Dan. Dan the man. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's keep rolling on the brakes. Uh, we are down to five in that Tiger King. So we are knocking out spots left and right. Steven down to three spots to go in the college series. Want to knock out that bad boy potentially next here in the breaks. Want to knock that out next. That, or we can do the bats. Which is Four away in the bats. And I think those are, are those the only ones we haven't done yet? Or have we not done the reps yet? We haven't done the reps yet. Okay, so we're three breaks away from breaking for the cycle. A football slab, a football jersey break, two minis, and a Tiger King. So we are doing pretty good on a Sunday afternoon. A bunch of you guys still watching, which means that a bunch of you guys will still order here. Yeah, let's keep playing. So, let's keep rolling, guys. Well, that's let's a great keep name. rolling. We just pulled Terrell Davis. We pulled Troy Aikman. We pulled Justin Herbert. Jonathan Taylor. Gave away a Levdanian Tomlinson ball. Everything has been good. Yeah. I mean, I venture to say pretty much 
almost everything has been great. Yeah. We're talking Hall of Fame skill position players. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about linemen here. We're talking about some of the best running backs, quarterbacks, past and present both. And we have so many great receivers out there right now. True. Stefan Diggs out there in the Tiger King. Uh, we got Justin Jefferson in the minis. Randy Moss in the reps. Keep those orders going, guys. We will keep a ripping the fire in the break room today. Uh, we will knock out a lot of stuff. A few football games about to go final here, Steven. Uh, we have the Bengals up 35-17. Just over two minutes left on the Falcons. Uh, that will end. We are under a minute in the Cowboys-Lions game. Dallas 24-6 over Detroit. Oh my gosh. Uh, the Titans look like they're going to beat the Colts up 19-10 with over three minutes to go. And how about this one? We haven't even talked about it this show. The Commanders of 2014 on the Packers and they're in the red zone right now. I don't know what's happening, but we're going to applaud uh, that. It is crazy. Uh, Giants and Jaguars. The close bet. I'm sweating this one out. I have the Giants plus three. Uh, they have a, a first and 10 on their only 36-yard line. They're down four with under four minutes left. But you have them plus three, right? Plus three. So okay. they get a field goal. Yeah, you're, you're we're, right. we're in business here. And Ravens, there's still plenty of time where they can kick a field goal, feel like they can get the ball back, and then kick a field goal to win it. I hope so. Yeah. That's what they've been doing all season. Yep, pretty much. Uh, Ravens up 23-20 on the Browns. Uh, just under two minutes left. So... A lot of goodies going on right now uh, in the NFL. A lot of close games. A lot of close games. I know that Cowboys game wasn't close, uh, but a lot of close ones. Panthers get their first. Get their first. No, second, second win of the year. Second win, twenty-one-three over the Bucks. PJ Walker uh, over Tom Brady. A couple years ago, PJ Walker uh, was in the XFL. Yeah. Now he's beating Tom Brady in the NFL. Life comes at you quick. Uh, life comes at you quick. Uh, F and A says Dan Grata. That's right, Dan. Congratulations on yeah, the Yeah, Dan, there you go. Uh, Dan's in the room, and he's fired up. Dan, who's your squad? Yeah, let us know. Let us Pray know it's the Broncos. Like. I hope it's the Broncos. If not, if not, I yeah. understand. <laughs> uh, my goodness, what a start to his break room career. Uh, also, Dan, let us know where you heard about Ultimate Autographs. New customer. Uh, we are on YouTube, so maybe. Yeah, we are all over social media. YouTube. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitch, all our shows replay there. We have some bonus hits posted to YouTube. Uh, we are on TikTok and Instagram, uh, at Ultimate Autographs on Instagram, at UA Live Breaks on TikTok, plenty of bonus content. Uh, we've got a Discord page. Uh, we've got everything, Twitter as well, Facebook, uh, all over social media. If you're not already following us on all those platforms, you should, you definitely should. Uh, sound is gone, says Brandon. I hope it's not gone. I don't think it's gone. It just probably it probably cut out for a second. Cut out for a second. That happened to uh, him yesterday too, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Because I I'm still bumping on my end. Yep. Uh, I was I checked. That's why I checked on the the reading over there, and it looks like it's still good. So okay, cool. Sometimes it just cuts in and out randomly. Te technology, for, am I right? For no reason. Yep. <laughs> that's how that's how it goes sometimes. So keep those orders going, guys. Uh, the Giants got a third and two on Jacksonville, 32. So they are moving the ball. Yeah, right they now. are. How about them Giants? How about them Giants? Uh, I think big win for the Ravens if they hang on against the Browns uh, and the Bengals. Both going to go to four and three here. Uh, so a lot of good stuff going on. So let me know, guys, what you want to do next in the breaks. Let me know what you guys are feeling. Uh, looking forward to a lot of fun for sure. Uh, so, just wanted to make sure we were on. We are good. Yeah. Sound is on. Sound is on. So, what do you guys want to do next in the break room? Right now, Steven, uh, I would recommend the mini helmets with six mini helmets left. Justin Jefferson is one of the six. On a flash mini helmet. Along with a couple other guys, right? Uh, we have a Travis Etienne still out there. Uh, and we have a Terrell Suggs out there. So oh, these are the sick. trick or treat minis. We have six boxes left. All in the room, all on the ticker. So Jay Jettas is uh, probably the biggest prize. But I would say 
These are not bad names. T Sizzle, Travis Etienne. No. Uh, you can't go wrong with any of those names in that series. Or some of the treats that like Christian McCaffrey <laughs> still out there on the ice mini. Uh, these are all the boxes now left in Tiger King. So Richard Cox uh, is a Bills fan. Hopefully Richard comes in later tonight. Kurt Warner, Eric Dickerson, Michael Irvin, Stefan Diggs, Ray Lewis, the five boxes left in Tiger King. They're all good. Uh, they are all good hits. Uh, eight to go in the jerseys. I was framed jerseys. Uh, we are still looking for Terry Bradshaw. Uh, and we're still looking for the pre-framed Maurice Jones Drew jersey. There are nine jersey boxes left, but we got to save one for a personal. So actually eight are in play. Uh, we have eight to go in the football slabs. Uh, there are 14 slabs left now, Stephen. Emmett Smith, Jalen Hurts, Najee Harris, Steve Young, all are out there. Mm. Not to mention a Brett Favre. Didn't even get photo headliner status in the football slabs. An absolutely great series. Cannot wait to do some of those. And this is the one we're sleeping on at the moment. Uh, Randy Moss, full-size Lunar, is out there in this trick-or-treat rep series. Not to mention the guy that currently leads the league in receiving yards, Tyree Kill on a Dolphins flash. They play tonight. They play tonight. Sunday night football. Dolphins and Steelers, I believe, two was back tonight. Ooh. Uh, so he's first in the league in QBR, by the way. So think about that. Uh, big man on campus college series. We got a lot of good stuff left in this series. Uh, Brian Dawkins mini helmet is a photo headliner left. Uh, eight boxes to go. We have OJ Simpson, Devin White still in there. Uh, baseball bats. All the baseball bats are rock solid in this series that are left. Labor Torres still in the playoffs. Barely, maybe not for long. Uh, Yankees yeah. looking like they'll get swept potentially tonight. Uh, we have Jose Canseco, a Bash brother, a Hall of Famer, Orlando Cepeda, and one of the best center fielders I've ever seen, uh, Andrew Jones. So a lot of good stuff still left in the bats as well. So let me know what you guys are feeling. Uh, Giants got a first and goal at the Jacksonville one-yard line. There you go. So they get a touchdown. Let's do the math here. They go up 2017. Uh, so they would cover unless they score a touchdown. Unless the Jaguars score a touchdown. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. That's looking good right there. Uh, let me know, guys, how your fantasy teams are doing. Uh, let me know what you're up to. What are you guys watching? Are you guys red zone fans? Or are you guys fans of just watching like your football team play? Uh, cause I'm typically a red zone guy, but if there's a really good game on, I'll also watch the game. Like I'm glad red zone. I'm glad we still have a primetime game on Sunday and Monday. And I like those afternoon games, like yeah. the afternoon window. And there's like three or four games. I may not watch red zone. Then I may pick one game, but that noon window, I watch red zone for about like 25, 30 minutes before I leave for work. I uh, can't watch it here. Unfortunately, uh, because I'm busy and also because Red Zone's got that weird thing where you must be connected to your at-home Wi-Fi. Did you know that? It's a no, killer. That, that is a killer. That is definitely a killer. I've tried multiple I times to watch, watch Red Zone it. away from my Wi-Fi. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Uh, Phillies are doing great in baseball, by the way. Yes, they uh, are. Phillies up 2-1 in the bottom of the fourth. Looking to close out the Padres up 3-1 in that series. Uh, obviously, the Phillies... Uh, you know, win tonight. They're in the World Series. Uh, there was a better that I saw this online, Stephen, and I'm blanking on the amount that he placed and the amount that he'll win, and I'm blanking on who he picked to win, but I know his two teams in the World Series were Astros and Phillies before the season. That looks great. Placed it before the season. Uh, I want to say that it, he's going to win a lot of money. I mean, Baseball such, I don't want to call it a crapshoot. It is. It, 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 it's definitely. It, it just sounds so negative, but yeah, you just really never know. Uh, you really, really never know. Clearly, the Phillies are, dare I say, the hottest team in baseball. They are the hottest team. They are the hottest team, but the yeah. Astros are the best, the better team. The Astros, I mean, again, and, <laughs> and we're assuming that it's going to be Phillies Astros. Exactly. You never know. Yankees and Padres, you never know. Yankees just want to right their 2004 wrongs. Uh, that's yeah. what we're thinking. <laughs> we'll see. Winning four in a row against this Astros team would be tough, but that's what they said about the Red Sox. 
And they did it. And they did it. They did it. So... Uh, Brandon says, would rather watch my team, but it's a bye week. So watching Red Zone. So Brandon's a Bills fan. Uh, and Steven, so in my fantasy matchup this week, I'm in first place. I'm playing the second place guy. And he has Josh Allen on a bye week. I cannot have picked a better week for Josh Allen to have a bye week. Yes, I faced in my dad's league, I'm facing a guy who has AJ Brown, Stephon Diggs. Yeah. They're not playing this They're week. They're not playing this week. <laughs> now, I do have Gabe Davis. Have to sit down with Gabe Davis, but I would rather sit Gabe Davis <laughs> if the guy I'm playing sits uh, Josh Allen. It's a fair trade. Uh, touchdown Giants. Daniel Jones off the middle for the one yard QBC. He's a solid running guy. He is very good at running. No matter what they say or whatever he fell to. Uh, he is a great rushing quarterback, and right now, Daniel Jones is not turning the ball over. A true game manager. You look at his game logs, uh, nothing crazy. Uh, 188, 176, 196, 217, 173. Uh, he had 71. I think he got hurt in that game. Uh, but he has two interceptions the whole season, Daniel Jones. Hmm. And actually, one of the, the picks he threw was in a loss. So pretty much they've won because only lost. he hasn't turned the ball over. Uh, so Danny Dimes are doing pretty good this season. Uh, you know, we it's crazy to think about, like we we're talking about Tom Brady, is he done, is he not? Aaron Rodgers, is he done? Because Yes, he's retired. He's, uh, he's 17 to <laughs> 26 for 110 yards and a touchdown. Uh, I'm actually, you know, glad that Dylan's not here because he would be crying right now. And I don't want the poor guy... To be so sad because yeah. and Dylan's not used to it. He doesn't get like the life of a sports this. fan. Actually, not many Packer fans understand it. Because they're used to winning. Yeah, and it's understandable. Uh Green Bay about to be three and four. Uh the first time ever in his career. Yeah. Through seven games. That's crazy. See, they've gone on one multiple times. But yeah. Yeah, first time through seven games he's ever been under five hundred. That's crazy. They're not used to it. Uh commanders it's different, it's uh, different around here. Assuming like <laughs> it doesn't finish this way, but commanders are up twenty three fourteen. Uh with about five minutes left in the game. Commanders will be three and four. The Giants hang on, they're six and one. The Cowboys won today, they're five and two. Uh Steven, the best collective divisional record in the NFL right now. Uh, is the NFC East. Yeah. Uh, who would have thought the, the NFC East Beast? was the best division in the NFL? I mean, I didn't pick it. <laughs> that, no. I've been wrong about everything this if year. If there's one person who picked the NFC East and as the best division in football before the season, please identify yourself yeah. because I don't know a single person and show me the proof. who picked that. And yeah. show me the proof. Show me the proof. Uh, you thought three teams would be this good. Uh, Aaron Evans, having... that's great, but uh, I, I, I ain't bad. Uh, Brandon saying Aaron having the worst season of his career. I agree. <sighs> uh, father time. It's father time, man. Uh, father time, uh, finally catching up. Uh, you know, the AFC West, which many people, and I believe including both of us, God, even, I, that's what I thought it uh, was. Said it was the best division in football. The Chiefs and Chargers are four and two. However, the Chargers have a negative point differential. Really? Uh, they're actually been very lucky to be four and two. Uh, the Broncos are two and four. Russell Wilson has looked terrible. He's not even playing today due to injury. Uh, the Raiders are one and four. So the uh, AFC West, I believe, is actually a game under 500 right now. So that could not have seen that as well. But still might win the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, David Honga says, holy cow, I'm cursed. Everything's telling me not to put in for another draw until the next paycheck or three. Uh, David, uh, Brandon Dudick told us he was cursed, basically. In yep. other words, uh, I, I wasn't mean, here last night. I, I was mean, celebrating house. my mom's birthday, but Brandon apparently lost a lot last night. So far, Brandon Dudick's got uh, two headliners in the same show, Troy Aikman and Jonathan Taylor, mini helmets. So you uh, never know. Let's see what David was in. Uh, David says, I love the suspense of the possibility of winning. I'm at work listening. Congratulations to all beer. Oops. So David is having a beer, Good working, and watching UA breaks. You are doing uh, mighty fine as a true champion yeah. of the game. New customer uh, magic, Dave. For real. He was in Slabulous. Jessica took home the J.K. Dobbins. David, who's your squad? Who's your squad, or who's your favorite player? Yeah, let us know, David. I, think I know. Jessica brought up a great point. You know, maybe who's your favorite team, or who's your favorite player? Yeah. That's a good one. Because that. Yeah. Who's your favorite player? Because yeah. that is also important as Past, well. Past, present. 
It don't matter. Because we're giving we gave away my favorite player today. Who's your favorite player? Ladanian Tomlinson. I I'm thought Joe Burrow was your favorite. For, for, he's my favorite modern day, but all modern time, day, all still time, all time, it's Tomlinson. Okay, that's my brother's favorite player. So you guys are thinking alike there. Joe Burrow, well, Joe Burrow's my current passion though. He's my current flame. <laughs> your current flame, <laughs> I like it. Well, hopefully your wife isn't listening, Stephen. She might be. <laughs> she might be. Steven. When we were watching the Super Bowl last year together, we were, you know, I have a Joe Burrow Grayscale Prism rookie card, grade ten. Ooh. Yeah. And so, obviously, if he wins a Super Bowl last year, the card's value is going to be ridiculously a lot higher. Now, as, as a Joe Burrow fan, are you looking to keep that card or are you going to sell it for the right price? I would like to sell it okay. so I can try to upgrade to a better Burrow. Okay. I, I really like an auto Burrow card. Okay. Which are very Oh, that one's not auto. It's not auto. Oh, that, well, that makes sense. Yeah. Then. Yeah, that makes but sense. I would like to try and use that to catapult myself to a graded uh, an auto rookie card. An, okay. R- an RPA. But yeah, basically she's like, is that the card? I'm like, yeah, that's the card. That's the card. <laughs> that's, that's that's my card. baby. That's my baby. We want him to do well. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's my, my favorite player is Mahomes at the moment. Historically, either Mahomes or Peyton Manning. The more frustrating things with Mahomes, though. Not, not frustrating. He's not a frustrating player at all. Well, is, he can be sometimes and makes the mistakes. But yes, but he doesn't make many. Not I will take players. I will take all of his mistakes for all the greatness that he displays. It's worth every second. It's worth every penny. Worth so, every penny. Uh the thing with Mahomes is he's from the 2017 class, right? And before the big boom in the card market, people had no idea what this guy was. No. He was pennies on the dollar. Could have just loaded up on Patrick Mahomes rookie cards. And, and won a lot of money. Uh, and yeah. Mm. So <laughs> I actually knew who Mahomes was because uh, I actually covered sports in Arkansas. And this dude Who's shredded Texas Tech, the right? Arkansas Razorbacks. It was Texas Tech, Arkansas non-conference game. Oof. And I saw the guy play and I was like, I mean, honestly, if you've watched it, and it's Texas Tech is also tough because they put up so much numbers. They always do. But if you how saw much is it quarterback, yeah, how much is it him? If you yeah. saw him play in college, though, you could tell that he was special. Like, I, I'm not going to say I thought he would be this good. No, no way. No one did. You could see he but, could make the throws, though. Uh, I was aware of Mahomes. And actually, as a Bears fan, uh, at the time, I wanted Watson. But I was okay with Mahomes. I was like, give me Watson. Give me Mahomes. And then they took Trubisky. And I think that just reiterates the, the point that we were never okay with Trubisky. No. no <laughs> I have never okay been that. okay with Mitch Trubisky. I don't know why we drafted him. I don't know. I don't know what drugs were taken before. I don't know. The draft meeting. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. I don't understand. That's just me. It's, well, it's incredibly frustrating when you watch common these people make millions. 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 Upon millions of dollars, and they can't make decisions that I make that I've made mad in my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that's fair. Yeah. I, I don't, it doesn't sound great the way you're saying it. I know, but I, I that, get what you're saying. But it's, it's, that's what's frustrating about it. It's because Ryan Pace, like, he didn't have to trade up. He no. could have traded back and still got it. And still got the still guy. Got he could have. He could have got more assets to help Mitch or Mitch well, Trubisky. R- Ryan Pace is gone. We'll but, see what happens with the new guy. And but that's so far not so good. And that's what I think is happening right now, unfortunately, to Justin Fields. But I don't think Justin Fields is a bad quarterback. Sure. I'm not saying he's the world beater and he's the reason we're going to win a Super Bowl. Sure. But I also think that Ryan Poles is like anything that Ryan Pace believed to be good, we need to get rid of. Sure. <laughs> and just well, be done with it. And to be fair to Justin Fields, in the offseason, uh, they took a defensive coach. Yep. They didn't have a first-round pick. Just, and guess what they used the second-round picks on? Defense. Just didn't so, help him at uh, all. Didn't make sense. A jury's still on our Justin Fields. Uh, we do have Brandon Dudek saying my favorite current player is Gabe Davis, and my all-time favorite is Jim Kelly. Uh, how do you feel about Stefan Diggs? I'm interesting, interesting to hear Gabe Davis because we do have a Stefan Diggs out there in the Tiger King. Uh, these are the last five boxes in Tiger King. Kurt Happy Morgan, Diggs. Hall of Fame quarterback, Super Bowl champ, Super Bowl MVP, league MVP. Eric Dickerson still the single season rushing record holder think about that 1984 he set that rushing record incredible uh and it's been almost what is that i mean 1984 it's been almost 40 years that record is still a, a around 
It is very impressive. Dare I say it might never be broken? Maybe. It's a passing league. Even with that 17th game, yeah. it's a passing league. It'll be tough. Derrick to Henry was the guy that was going to do it. And, and then, Derek, he broke, then he broke his foot. And Derrick Henry has slowed down a little bit, but he is getting better the last few weeks. We'll see if he can get back to that Henry status. Uh, Michael Irvin, full-size authentic out there. There's the digs we talked about. I believe he's second in the league in receiving yards entering this week. And the all-time tackle leader, Ray Lewis. Uh, David saying Seahawks fan, favorite like player. That. Growing up was Bo Jackson because of his dual sport, but I've always been a huge Seahawks fan through all the bad years. So congrats on that Super Bowl title against the Broncos. Should have been two. Call it. Uh, if you ran it from the one. bandwagonism, Lynch. whatever. I can be a bandwagon. It's fine. But I love the Legion of Boom. The Legion of Boom was one of the best, if not the best defense, considering <laughs> the passing era. Those yeah. guys were great. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Diggs, but Davis is going to be huge because double coverage on Diggs. But Diggs still gets his. <laughs> he still gets his. He still gets his. He still gets his. Second in the league in receiving yards. Uh, right. So a lot of good stuff out there, guys. Uh, right now, I think I would love to see another receiver, this Randy Moss Lunar Helmet. We are six away on the Trick or Treat rep helmets. I would love to see that Randy Moss, guys, come in here and get the Moss. Uh, also, talking about, uh, you know, rushing yards, you know, rushing single season rushing record, the all-time rushing record will not be touched. Emmett Smith, yep. the all-time leading rusher, uh, he is like out there forever. on a slab card, Stephen. 30 bucks to win an Emmett Smith for each spot. That would be sick. Hold on. Well, let's see. Top 10 rushers of all time. I know Emmett Smith's number one. Barry Sanders is at 15,269. I'm not sure if that's going to be touched. Even Walter Payton, I think, is third, right? He's Walter Payton's second, Barry Sanders is third. Yeah. But Damien's fifth at 13,684. Would you say Derrick Henry is our closest bet? Yes, no question. To that, he's at 7,205 yards throughout his career. I know. Oh. It's crazy to think about. NFL all-time rushing leaders... Let's put this up on the on the uh, randomizer for you guys to see. So I I agree. I don't. Um, I'm not sure if the top five is going to be touched ever again. They, it'd be Derrick Henry if we were gonna, if we're talking right now. Well, and Adrian Peterson did he find a team? What's the update on him? I know he's been sticking around the league. Like Adrian Peterson, I could see potentially passing up Barry because he's only like th less than 300 yards away. But look at these guys. By the way, Curtis Martin, who is sixth all time, uh, he is out there in that trick or treat series as well. Best autograph in sports. Uh, we just had that Tomlinson ball come through. Here's Dickerson, ninth all time in rush yards. I mean, all of these guys, uh, maybe with the exception of Walter Payton, uh, we've had in the break room before. Emmett Smith, currently, uh, Frank Gore, Barry Sanders, Adrian Peterson, Curtis Martin, Tomlinson, Bettis. Dickerson, Dorsett, uh, all these guys in the top 10. We've had them in the room, or we currently have them right now, including Dickerson and Tiger King, uh, and Martin in the Trick or Treat reps, and Emmett Smith in the slabs. Uh, so Peterson, the latter, last seen briefly with the Buccaneers in 2021, said Tuesday, this is in July, okay. that he won't play in the NFL in 2022 while transitioning to a boxing career. Okay, for so, NFL media. Peterson, meanwhile, is leaving the door open for a return to the field after playing for a seventh different team last season. Crazy. So, okay, so Adrian Peterson technically... Man, I, I'm not sure if he ever plays again, though. No, I don't think so. Uh, he needs 82 yards for 15 grand. <laughs> get in there for like four or five games. Dude, that's all you it's need, It's like that bro. movie, yes. Mr. 3000, yes. Bernie yes. Mac, baby. Please, R. I. R. R. The legend. Please come uh, back for RIP. 82 yards. Uh, Back hey, in elite club, 15,000 yards. And Frank Gore's in that club. Think about that. And all due respect to Frank Gore. That's uh, the talent of Adrian Peterson. Uh, Frank Gore does not have the talent of any of these guys in the top five. He does have the longevity, though. But who wins the boxing match between the two? I don't know. Is Frank Gore doing good? I can't remember. I don't know if he's good. doing good. I just don't. Know. I just know they both box. And they both box. <laughs> uh, Darren Williams boxes too. And Ray on Bell. Oh my god, it's a lot of fun. Why did everyone transition to boxing? I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. These guys are taking enough hits to the head. Yeah, we get it. They're taking enough hits to the head. Wait till uh, Antonio Brown starts boxing. We got uh, Gaming Forty Four in the chat saying, "Hey man, I think that's a pretty new customer, Brandon. I think his 
uh, in the chat. What's going on? That is the uh, Packer Bill fan. So he's oh, got okay. one team he's happy about and Red one and team he's furious about. Uh, he's 50-50. By the way, Giants got a second and nine on the Jaguars 19 oh, uh, with wow. less than two minutes there to go. go. There you go. Uh, Jaguars just used their third timeout, so I don't think the Giants will quite run out the clock. But they here's want the duty. To, Assuming they even make the kick, they're up 23-17. Uh, they'll cover plus three unless somehow Jacksonville scores, misses the PAT, and then wins in overtime. Yeah, it'd be something it's a absurd. very unlikely scenario. It'd be something absurd. Uh, something absurd for sure. Uh, so final scores. Bengals 35-17. Uh, final over the Texans, Joe Burrow, 481 pass yards and three touchdown passes. Give it to me, Joe. Uh, an absolute beast today. He had three guys go over 90 receiving yards or more on the team. The great trio, uh, Boyd, Chase, and uh, Higgins. Yeah, those are, those are two. Those Crazy. Uh, and Mixon is not a bad runner. No. Commanders have not won just yet. 23-21. Uh, with just over two minutes to go, uh, they got a third and long on their own 44. Green Bay just calling a timeout. So that game is not quite done yet. Uh, we did have the Cowboys 24-6 over the Lions. Uh, the big surprise today, Panthers 21-3 over the Bucks. Bucks are now 3-4. and four. Ravens hanging on to win 23-20 against the Browns. Uh, so... A lot of good stuff going on. Not that many points in the early games. At what point do we see points today? I think that uh, Chiefs-Niners game could have some points in it. Even though yeah. the Niners' defense is really good, they're also banged up. Uh, you got to score a lot of points to keep up with Mahomes. Christian's debut. Is, is he playing? Yep. What's the they update? They said he's playing today. McCaffrey's going to play today. So that is perfect. Uh, so it is 3-14 right now. We've been red hot this entire show. Uh, how many boxes are we at, Steven? We are at a total of six boxes. No, five, five breaks. Five breaks. A giveaway. A giveaway. And then the raffle. Okay, so the bonus. So the seven. Bonus. We've done seven boxes, but five breaks. Yes. So we're doing good today. I uh, do want to give a shout out to all the customers who have ordered today. Larry Roslin, Nathaniel Bartram, Brandon Dudick. Uh, Thomas Banky, Ethan Williams, Eric McCartney, Chris Reitmeyer, Michael Murray, Sean Fisher, uh, Dan Grata, Paul Marks, uh, let's see, Ricky Stockinger, uh, Jessica Ewen, uh, Viet Trin. Uh, thank you guys for ordering into the breaks. You guys are absolutely awesome. All right, it's 3.15. Steven will be here till at least 3.35 because at 3.30... Uh, we will do the chase wheel spin unless we are really close on some breaks, specifically the jerseys, which mm -hmm. are eight away. Uh, a lot of good hits so far today. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what hit of the show. I guess we have some time to mow them over. Uh, but Troy Aikman mini, Jonathan Taylor flash mini. Uh, maybe the hit of the day for me. I know the authentic is great on the Trout Davis. I like the Herbert jersey because it came with the framing cert as well. I agree with that. Uh, so we'll show off that uh, here at the end of the show. So, guys, if you want to play some breaks, let's get those orders going. 25 seconds left in the game. Uh, looks like the Giants will kick it here and go home victorious. Well done. I should have bet the Giants' money line. Could have won more. But still, the plus three I felt felt very safe. Uh, worked out well for the Giants. Uh, looks like the Commanders got a first down. They'll hang on against the Packers. Let's go. Uh, Jets and Broncos underway. No Russell Wilson today. Are the Bears only a game behind the Packers? Yes. Let's go. I think so. Well, maybe like, a, what, a game, game and a half? half. Yeah. Uh, NFC North. Uh, Green Bay 3-4. and four, Chicago 2-4. and four. Okay, so if they beat, well, if we beat the Patriots, we're tied. Crazy. Well, they'll have the advantage, but we're tied record-wise. And no one thought that conversation would be had. Got to say the Minnesota Vikings right They're now really impressive. are going to win the NFC North. Yep. Without question. I mean, uh, they are the NFC North champs. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about officially, the Eagles. No. <laughs> Not officially yet. I know. <laughs> but we've talked a lot about the Eagles. And I know it's easy to dismiss the Vikings because head to head, they were dreadful against Philly. They just had a bad game. It was uh, like week two, too. It was week two. 
Uh, Vikings look like the second seed to me in the NFC. Uh, we got Chris Reitmeyer saying two is back. Can't wait for tonight. Absolutely, Chris. Uh, you know, all the upsets out there. I still think that the Dolphins take care of business tonight. Uh, Tyreek Hill leading the league in receiving yards. We talked about this. Maybe it was with Colin the other day, but maybe we've talked about this, Stephen. Uh, I think Mahomes and Hill, there was a lot of question marks. How would Mahomes do without Hill? How would Hill do without Mahomes? They're both top five, if not top three, in their position, uh, in, their position in the league. And they're both fine. If you're that great, you'll do great yeah, no matter is. what. Yep. Uh, so Cheetah and Mahomes both falling out this season. And like you said, Tua has the highest QBR. Yes. And he hasn't played in three weeks. In the whole league. Yep. Highest QBR in the league, ahead of Mahomes, ahead of Josh Allen. Tua number one, Josh Allen number two, Patrick Mahomes number three. Guess who's number four? This is shocking as well. Uh, entering this week. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You will never guess. You said I'll never guess? It's shocking. In QBR? QBR. Not uh, Zach Wilson, right? Not Zach Wilson. Uh, this guy has nine touchdowns and two picks. Keno Smith. Keno Smith. Fourth in the balling. league in QBR. Yeah, he's been balling. I, mean, I think he's number one in a completion percentage. I believe it. Uh, completion percentage... Uh, Geno Smith of guys who played is number one. Yeah, yep. Brian, Brian Hoyer, I guess, is listed on here. Yeah, he's like one of passes, one or whatever. Oh, five and six. Get out of here. So Geno is... Smith leading a team. Geno Smith, man. Give common credit. He called the over on the Seahawks this year. I did. He I did. called the over on the wins. I think it was something like four six or five and a half. half. I thought it was like six and a half. I think no. it was five and a half. Or maybe that's what it was. I needed six wins. Yeah. Either way, like, even that division I, even, is so interesting. Even I didn't think they'd be that good. No, but so, that division crazy. is curious. Uh, Chris Reitmeyer going, Carson Wentz. Uh, we have a quarterback controversy in Washington because Taylor Henneke about to ball out and get a win here against the Packers. Uh, two touchdowns, two, 200 yards, did have a pick as well. Uh, it was the ground game for Washington today. 167 yards. Jr. It's not a joke. And Gibson is pretty good as well. Yeah. That's a pretty good duo for sure. Again, in, in the NFL, you know, you, we talk about it all the time, Calvin. We love the quarterbacks, right? The quarterbacks are fun to talk about, especially the top of the class, like Mahomes and Allen, all those guys. But you can win in the NFL if you have a good run game yeah. and a solid defense. You can win football games and go to the playoffs. That's yes. still the foundation I of, of the team. I 100 agree, but can you win a Super Bowl? I don't think so. That's where the dif- But that's where the difference comes sure. from. Sure. The next level is... is the, I'm just top. saying, are the Giants fans going to be pumped that they're going to the playoffs this year? I would be ecstatic. Exactly, but I, you the, got... The but Giants had four wins reality? last year, Stephen. They're about to be 6-1. and one. What's the sobering reality meeting them in the playoffs? They'll lose. Yeah, they'll lose. But <laughs> they'll take a playoff spot. Exactly, they'll be thrilled with it. Next year, expectations spot. will change. Absolutely. Uh, going to be fun. It's great seeing these teams go from uh, worst to first. That's what the Giants are looking to do. I think they were worst... Uh, in the NFC, they're probably not going to get first, but they'll go from worst to playoffs. Yeah, uh, be that would be pretty good because sure. the NFC North, the second best team is the Packers. They're already three games ahead of that. There's going to be three playoff teams in the East. Yep. Think about that. Mm-hmm. I really think so. Giants, Cowboys, the West is Eagles. all like combined together basically. And so, so is the, is the South. South. So is the so South. Only one of those guys, one of those teams are going to win. Crazy man. man. Could you imagine Tom Brady not making the playoffs this last year? I I said this to my friend the other day. And again, obviously it's Tom Brady. We recognize what he's done. He could turn it around. Is he still the best uh, quarterback in the division? Yes. But not in the league. That's but not in the sure. league. No. Um, think about this. You know, all his, I mean, we don't know all the details, but it seems like his personal life, his marriage is in trouble in, in large he part this way, yes. because he came back to play football. Uh, and he came back for this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he should have retired last year. Retire while you're still on top. It's Tom Brady. It's the competitive his, his, nature in him. That's... His reputation is not, you know, he's still going to go down as the GOAT for now at least. Uh, but if I'm Tom Brady, I would have hung it up last I think, year. I think, I think if they would have just took their L in the playoffs, losing 35-13, to 13, instead of the way they came back and made it a game, sure, he'd still be retired. Possible. I would also argue that he didn't want to end the career that way. But I don't know. It's hard to say. With Tom Brady, until I see that he's not playing, I'll assume that he'll Same play. with Aaron Rodgers. 
Yeah. Oh, I see this Aaron, guy out of my life. Aaron Rodgers, though, I could see actually leaving. I don't know. Again, and this is oh, he's been threatening to leave for a long time. This is, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm like, I'm and, waiting. And Brady has it. Brady's been saying, I'm still sticking around. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, still sticking around. If you want to give you guys a top to bottom rundown of the break page, reset the brakes and give you guys a tentative sort of last call for orders. We'll be here till at least 3:35. If we are within two or less on some breaks, three or less. We'll keep going. Otherwise, 335 could be the show. Uh, Tiger King Diamond Authentics. Uh, we have five boxes left. Kurt Warner, Eric Dickerson, Michael Irvin, Stefan Diggs, Ray Lewis. Uh, all five boxes are fantastic. The NFC West is quite a division here with the Warner and Dickerson. That's True. the one you want to get. You have a 40% chance at winning one of those uh, sick names. Uh, we have... Trick or treat mini, seven spots to go, six boxes left. Justin Jefferson Flash Mini Helmet is still out there. Jay Jettas, uh, number one all time in the first two seasons of a career for receiving yards. No one in their first two seasons has had more receiving yards than uh, Jefferson. He's currently third in the league in receiving yards, entering the week, an absolute beast. Uh, we have six boxes left. Besides him, Terrell Suggs. And Travis Etienne are in those uh, six boxes. So 50% chance you hit one of those names. Uh, I was framed jerseys. This is the chase today. Uh, we are still looking for the Terry Bradshaw jersey and a pre-framed Maurice Jones Drew jersey with just nine boxes left. Only eight in play because we have a personal, Stephen. Uh, we have eight to go in the football slabs. This is a series with tons of headliners left. Uh, Emmett Smith. Uh, NFL's all-time leading rusher, Najee Harris. Steelers' great running back, Steve Young. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks ever, Jalen Hurts. Last undefeated quarterback in the NFL. He's an MVP candidate. Uh, we also have a Brett Favre in this series. We get the pool. Uh, there are 14 boxes left. Five of those big names left in the football slabs. Six to go in the trick or treat rep helmets. Uh, the guy who's leading the league in receiving this season, Tyreek Hill is still out there on the Flash helmet, and Randy Moss on the Lunar with the straight cash homie inscription. That is very sick. Uh, we also are winding down on this college series. Three spots to go. Yes, we pulled the Brady, but the Brian Dawkins mini still out there. Uh, not to mention we have an OJ Simpson uh, and a Devin White in here, so... Uh, almost a 50% chance one of those names comes out in the big man on campus. And lastly, baseball bats, four spots to go, four bats left. They're all good. I uh, would love to see that Canseco bat. So it is 325. We'll do the chase wheel spin at 330. If we still don't have any orders uh, when we're done with that, we might sign off uh, for the early show. Uh, Jaguars are moving the ball. This game cast, obviously... Uh, gave me the wrong time. There's 35 seconds left. Uh, they're approaching midfield, uh, but I still would pick the Giants to win this. Yeah, game. they they they're looking good. They're looking like they're in good position. Uh, the NFC is horrible, says Devin. I agree. Uh, the AFC is the better conference uh, without question. Uh, and I think as good as the Eagles are doing, I know they've got a better defense than Kansas City. Uh, you said it off the top of the show. Uh, Bills and Chiefs, to me, are in a class of their own. I think Philly's like that next level, uh, but I would put, uh, you know, Bills number one, Chiefs number two, Philly number three right now in my power rankings. I would just caution Philly fans. Yeah. That as great as your season is going, San Francisco could probably end it. They could. They are talented, and they just got better. Well, so... Philly had a huge win over the Vikings on Monday Night yep. Football. Mm -hmm. uh, but the truth is, I think they've got a really good team because they're they well-rounded. I'm not trying to take any more. Uh, but you look at the rest of their schedule. They beat the Lions. They beat the Commanders. They beat the Jaguars. They beat the Cardinals. They beat the Cowboys with Cooper Rush. Uh, so, and, and here's the truth. They'll probably start 9-0. They play Pittsburgh, Houston, and Washington next three weeks. Uh, at the Colts could be tricky. Uh, Green Bay, I don't know. Green Bay looks bad. I mean, their schedule is easy. Tennessee, their hardest games left are the Cowboys and Giants. Mm -hmm. Everything else is pretty easy. 
Uh, anyone want to go one spot a piece for college? Needs three of us, says Devin. Uh, let me know, guys. Also, anyone else still out there? Throw a break out in the chat you would like to see done. You throw it out there, someone yeah. else might want to do it. Uh, Devin's in for the college. So uh, who put else that is too, in? If he's interested. David Hanga just got a spot in the next Tiger King. Okay, David. Nicely done. He's not done yet. Uh, so let's hop in there. Let's fill up those breaks. Uh, Devin, I would say, uh, you know, get your spot regardless. Because you get that spot, gets us down a 2 away. Maybe someone else notices it's close. They hop in and close it. Uh, worst case scenario, we break that at 7. Yeah. Uh, so uh, do not miss out on a chance on a Devin to Devin. Devin Butterworth, Devin White. Uh, so that could be great. So let's hop in there, guys. Let's knock out those breaks. Uh, Chiefs and 49ers underway. I'll be tracking uh, that game today as a Chiefs fan. Looking forward to some good afternoon football. Holy, it's a nice scoring game. I hope it's a lot of runs. Uh, Philly's up 2-1 in the sixth. Uh, Philly's up 2-1 in the sixth. Uh, Byron Leftwich gets fired tomorrow morning, says Devin Butterworth. We'll see. Uh, we will definitely see. I saw a report that um, Bowles, Todd Bowles is the coach, right? Yes. Uh, he didn't want any help from Bruce Arians with the offense and all the issues because Bruce Arians was the Super Bowl coach. Uh, he's now in the front office for the Bucks. Yeah, but I think it's not necessarily Todd Bowles didn't want it. I don't think Tom Brady wanted it. Yeah. I think the real rift is between Tom Brady and Bruce Arians. Okay. And that not necessarily be it. Todd Bowles. Okay. But, well, and, and the defense in Tampa has been good. They're, that's, the, that's the crazy yeah. thing. Oh, well, Tom Bowles is doing his job. They, <laughs> He's they, done his job. They, they've done good. Like, yeah. they, they should have a winning record. Uh, you know, in the modern NFL, I know points are down a little bit compared to last year. Uh, but you give up 21 points. You give up 20 points. You should probably win those games. I mean, yeah. Tom Brady as your quarterback uh, should be good to put Tom up. Tom Brady as your quarterback, Mike points. Evans, Russell Gage, Chris, Charles, Chris Godwin, Chris Godwin, Chris Godwin, Leonard Fournette. You guys should score 28 points well, a game easily. At least. At and, least. And we, we talk about, you know, Devin's talking about the offensive coordinator. I'm out here saying Tom Brady well, might be done. Uh, Mike Evans dropped a wide-open touchdown, touchdown catch. I mean, he, he was so open. Whole game. It was a perfect throw. It would have been up 7-0 after the opening drive. Would have had momentum. And Mike Evans did not come up with the catch. I mean, I know it's one play. But that was that was a tough play. Mm -hmm. Mike Evans did not start for sure. Uh, dang, I wish there was UW Huskies in here. Love my Huskies. I'll put in one spot for Devin. My final draw till next payday, says David. Uh, so here's Washington the deal. Huskies in here? We have a lot of Washington Huskies in here. Yeah. A Washington Husky we get in here a lot is Warren Moon. Moon yep. uh, almost every college series we've done so far has had a Warren Moon Washington item. True. I'm trying to think of some other ones because I feel like we've had a couple other Huskies out there. Uh, let me look at some Husky greats. Washington Husky greats. Uh, Nate, Nate Robinson? No. <laughs> uh, we, had, we haven't had him. Yeah, we haven't but... had Nate Robinson. We had a sick... Uh, USA mini helmet on Washington with uh, and also on a replica as well uh, with Warren Moon. Uh, I actually got a UW Warren Moon in the last college one, says Eric. That's right. So, David, we do have Warren. I mean, I don't Did know. Did you pull Warren Moon out of this one yet? I don't, I don't know. He's not a headliner. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure if he's out there. Uh, you would think he'd be in the listing, but you never know. You never there, know. You never know what's out there. But for the record, David, uh, pretty much every college series we've done so far has had a Warren Moon Washington item. Uh, it was the U.S. flag mini helmet, says Eric. Uh, yes, David, Warren Moon. Uh, I'm not sure if it was Big Man on campus. I think Eric is saying in the one before that. It was the Roll Tide one, says Eric. Okay. Uh, so Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Uh, you know, two left in big man on campus. Two to go, big man. We got five to go in the trick or treat reps. So we are getting some action on the break page. Uh, Steve and I will give them a little bit more time. However, let's knock out the chase wheels. Yeah, because we, can do we that. are eight away on the jerseys. We have been eight away for quite a bit. So we'll knock out this chase wheel spin and then we'll reevaluate the break page 
Uh, definitely would like to knock out this, uh, you know, this break for sure. The big man on campus. Uh, crazy. I'm seeing the Jaguars got a first and goal on the Giants one wow. with seven seconds left. Mm. Uh, so now I'm feeling better that I bet the Giants plus three plus three <laughs> instead of the money line. Uh, I'm what? telling you, though, it's the Jaguars. They'll probably get stuffed somehow. We'll see. The plus three right now. I'm I know. Feeling Trevor good. Lawrence is a big dude. So if they're smart, I don't know if they have any timeouts. Oh, end game. Looks like end it's of over. game. So maybe the clock ran out. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what happened. They might not have had timeouts. They had no left. timeouts left. Maybe they got the first down uh, and the clock ran out. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Devin's saying I lost a five leg parlay because of Ryan Suckup. That's tough. Uh, Chris Reitmeyer saying I have the Warren Moon Chrome rep, an authentic and many of the U.S. flag Washington. So that is crazy. Didn't get three points. That's tough, Devin. That is tough. I'm not exactly sure what happened in this game, but the Giants so uh, hang on. Yep. So end of game. Let's see. Last play. I think they ran out of time, Stephen. I think they yeah. got stopped at the one-yard wow. line and the clock ran out. Oh, that's brutal. That's the Jaguar way. Uh, that is the that Jaguar is. way. I don't know if that's quite the Jaguar way. That's a tough usually, way to usually lose. Usually there's a stop there. Yeah. I, I guess they're there. Maybe that's the next step, though. Just Maybe they, games. they <laughs> from losing games, they lose close games. Yep, you got we'll a progression. See. It's all about a progressing. Uh, Brandon Dudek saying Lawrence threw a pass to the one and the clock expired. Wow. That's brutal. It reminds That's me crazy. of that Titans Rams Super Bowl where the Titans got stopped the at the one yard line. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, all right, randomizers up, guys. We'll go eight clicks. Top spot is taken home. Oh my god. Chase Wheel Spin. Brees Hall already has a touchdown. Let's go. I did pick the Jets in my pick'em today. I did too. So and the UA pick'em as well. Yep. So seven clicks. We got one more. Uh eighth and final click. It's Eric McCartney. Look at that. Uh so he cleaned out. Uh Eric, get this, Steven. Hopped in for $42 in the Jersey series. He got himself a Justin Herbert and a framing certificate. And he's getting a wheel spin. Hey Eric, uh, we have multiple email addresses for you. Could you let us know which uh one you would prefer? And it looks like we're gonna do the big man on campus here. Perfect. To close us out. Uh, all right. So I'll take the chase off the wheel here. Uh, so we will spin the wheel. Uh, Eric wants to start at 16. Yep. All right. I can do that. And um, let us know on that question that Steven asked. I you. have multiple emails for you, Eric. So I need to know which one you want me to send the gift card to. Do you want me to send it to Steeler fan Gmail? Your regular one email? All Otherwise, I go with whatever he has the last order. Ah, uh, okay. But uh, whatever works. I can do that. Hold on. Uh, 49ers got a field goal to start the game against the Chiefs. Okay, cool. All right, start on 16. Start on 16. I just did the last one. Oh, okay, that works. Yep, here we go. It ain't going to be bad, Eric. It ain't going to be bad. Give him 62 bucks. 62 bucks. Yeah. The E.N. McCartney one is the one he's looking for, Stephen. Uh, E.N. McCartney. For the email. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so how much did you get again? 62. 62. We'll get that in your account, Eric. Congratulations, sir. The E.M. Uh, that is nice. He said E.M. or E.N. E.M. Sorry, E.M. Okay. Yep, we got it. Sweet. Uh, big man on campus. If you're in that break, uh, drop us a box number. If you're in that break, Devin was going 42. I gotta. Yeah, you're good. I'll have to get it ready. Steven will get the list ready to go. Uh, but if you're in that break, I will take a box number now. Uh, box number is good for me now. Ethan wants five. All right, five going off the ticker in the big man on campus. Dude got framed Herbert and 20 bucks for free. Pretty much. I mean, that's the beauty of that frame series. That's the beauty of getting the chase wheel spin. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice. All right. All right, this will... 
So this could be the last break of the show unless we get moving on the break page, guys. You guys want to do some more breaks? Ready for you. We'll be here all afternoon long. We do not have to end the show after this break. Uh, but unless we get moving on the orders, could be the last break of the show. Uh, Ethan Williams, Devin Butterworth, new customer Paul Marks, Devin, David, and Lloyd knocking this out. Uh, Brandon asking, how do you get added to the wheel spin? Uh, Brandon, at the start of each show, uh, we spin this wheel of names here. Let me put it up for you, sir. Uh, and whatever it lands on is the chase wheel spin. So if you hop into that break and it fills up, you get put it on the chase wheel spin. So we did just do the chase wheel spin. So for this show, it's closed, but we can do another chase wheel spin tonight. So see what every show. happens every show. And it's always listed uh, on the left hand corner. Uh, so always a good chance to get some extra money. Uh, Brandon saying, okay, gotcha, sweet sir. Uh, eight clicks here for our college conferences. Let's see it. Five, six, seven. Got one more, eight. Devin Butterworth up top. He's got the ACC. Imagine a Brian Dawkins coming out. Uh, Ethan, you've got the SEC. Paul's in the Big Ten. David's got the Big 12. Devin's got the Pac-12, got an mm -hmm. OJ out there, and Lloyd's got the uh, Independent. Holmes just threw a pick, says Brandon. Oh, my. Okay. Come on, Patty Ice. Let's get it together. Let's get it together. Still early in that game. Yeah, plenty of Still time. early. All right, big man on campus. Let's see what we got in here. What could we have? Come on out. Uh, I gotta say, Steven, everything's been good in this series. Uh, we have some series where we have the term called filler hits. Uh, almost no filler hits in this series. Almost no filler hits in the slabs. And the Tiger King, literally no filler hits. Because everything has been great in there. So this should be something pretty good. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is nice. This is very nice. You kidding me? Uh, we have one of the best college players ever. Maybe the best college game I've ever seen a guy play. Vince wow. Young, full size, hook 'em horns, replica helmet, JSA certified, one of the best dual threat quarterbacks. Vince Young was all over that USC defense. This is an Ann Moore guy. Hey, he's an Ann Moore guy, but common, you'll you'll announce it here in a moment. Look mm -hmm. who wins. David Honga. David told us I was ice cold. I'm ice cold. I'm ice cold. I can't win. This is the last one I'm putting in. Congratulations, David Honga, on the Vince Young full-size replica helmet. This is a third-tier hit in this college series. And got to tell you, at the college level... That is a great hit. <laughs> uh, this might be the second best player I've seen. Yep. Uh, Reggie Bush, for me, was the best Definitely college player one. I've seen. Vince Young might be number two. I mean, Vince Young beat one of the... They were, they were, I guess they weren't a dynasty, but they were feared. They were one of the best college teams, teams ever. ever. Yeah. Ever. I feared the Trojans. And, Everyone and, feared the and Trojans. And so was this Texas team, See, by They were the really way. good. Jamal yeah. Charles was a young player on that team. Uh, absolutely great hit, David Honga. Uh, he is given a uh, thumbs up here with the win. Uh, he is back in the winner's circle. Don't give up. Never give up. Uh, you can win breaks. And you can get your luck turned around. Congratulations on the Vince Young. Fantastic hit. That is crazy. Uh, Devin Butterworth saying about Patrick Mahomes, uh, don't call him Patty Ice. The channel's Matt Ryan to throw more picks. <laughs> so, Matty Ice, Patty Ice. I see. Uh, Vince Young, though, that is, that's pretty cool. That's a great, man, that, see, this is what we were talking about. We were not sure what could be, I did not expect Vince Young to come out I of didn't that, either. that this series. I really didn't. That's insane. It's a good series. It's, it's a good series. Uh, we have seven boxes left. I know as soon as Brady goes, everyone's like, eh, I don't want to hop in there. This is a better player than Brady in college. In college. In, in college, college, he was yeah. better. Uh, 51 bucks a spot, too. Like, this is obviously worth more than 51 bucks. David spent one order in there, uh, and he is thanking Devin for rallying the troops. I love this Texas, like, Horn right there. The it white. Just, yeah. Just looks clean, man. Looks very clean. Cheers to David on the winning track. He back, baby. He back. Uh, that's how it's done, sir. 
So seven boxes left. Gotta say, everything's good in this college series. We know in those seven, we got OJ Simpson, uh, and we have Brian Dawkins. So we got some and goodies. Devin White. And Devin White. We got some goodies in that college series, guys. Please do not sleep on it. Uh, baseball bats, we got some goodies. That's one we're sleeping on right now. Uh, so I'll give you guys another top to bottom rundown. Uh, it is 342. Here's a peek at the break page. We got six to go in the next college break. Big man on campus. The Brian Dawkins mini helmet still out there. Uh, the OJ Simpson, Devin White, like we mentioned in this listing. Uh, almost a 50% chance at one of those names right there. It is a great college series. Uh, we got seven to go in Tiger King. Five boxes left. Kurt Warner, Eric Dickerson, Michael Irvin, Stefan Diggs, Ray Lewis. The bottom line is they're all good. Uh, it is everything is good. Uh, cannot wait to pull those authentic helmets coming up. Uh, we got seven to go in the mini helmets. Six boxes left. One of them is Justin Jefferson on the flash mini. Travis Etienne dominating early on the season. Uh, former NFL Defensive Player of the Year, Terrell Suggs. We have not pulled in this break yet. Uh, we have eight to go in the jerseys. The Terry Bradshaw still out there, not to mention a pre-framed Maurice Jones-Drew. So come and get those in the jerseys. Uh, we have a lot of good stuff. The slabs, my goodness. Uh, not that many boxes left and a lot of headliners left, including Emmett Smith, Najee Harris, Steve Young, Jalen Hurts, and not to mention uh, Brett Favre in this series as well. 30 bucks a spot for a football slab. Uh, we have five to go in this series. A little bit surprised we haven't done this break today. This has been uh, maybe along with the minis, the trick-or-treat reps, the hottest series in the room all week. Still looking for Randy Moss, Tyreek Hill. Uh, we have a Curtis Martin in here as well. Uh, all those guys you can win for 46 bucks, full-size reps, and we have some treats out there as well. A lot of goodies. Uh, four left in the bats. These are all the bats out there. Glaber Torres, Jose Canseco, Orlando Cepeda, and Andrew Jones. So it is 344, Stephen. Uh, I will give them 11 minutes. If at 355, uh, we are still pretty open on the breaks. We'll sign off. If we can get to within like two or less, we'll give you guys a little bit more time. Uh, otherwise, 355, uh, we will sign off. Uh, I don't know. As far as hit of the night, maybe we can talk about this of the early show. Does the Vince Young change it for you? Just because we don't have him that much in here. It might. My goodness. Uh, for me... I just think because, you know, if you think of Vince Young, when you think of Vince Young, you're like, oh, okay, NFL Rookie of the Year. Didn't have the greatest career. But when you think of no. Vince Young on Texas, incredible. He's, he's up there with the Justin Herberts of the world. No doubt. In terms of that. In terms of college players, yes. no question. So these are some of the other really good hits. I'm going to leave this one folded. It's nice and neatly folded. Maybe I'll unfold it because we might do a video for YouTube. We're definitely doing a video. Uh, but for now, uh, I'll leave that up here so we can kind of see all the different stuff. Uh, we have ourselves. This was pretty nice. I almost forgot about this. The guy who led the league in rushing yards last year, Jonathan Taylor. Uh, so... Good minis coming out. Good jerseys coming out. I mean, to be honest with you, Stephen, we get good stuff coming out in all our series. This is the authentic Terrell Davis. Almost forgot about that. Uh, this is sick as well. Uh, then the Vince Young. I'll put the Vince Young on your side. Okay. Uh, so, I don't know. It feels like almost everything we pulled is good. Last year, let's put Davis in here. Uh, the authentic on your side. It's tough to choose between all these guys. You, you really can't go wrong. It really depends on your team. We've got a lot of Cowboy fans in here. Uh, they obviously would enjoy the Aikman. So a lot of good hits. Everyone out there watching, let us know what your favorite hit was this show. And more importantly, let us know if you want to do some more breaks. Uh, the one break I think is most likely to fill is the Rep Helmets. Five spots to go. I think it's our second closest break. The bats are four to go. That series has been a little bit cooler. Mm -hmm. So I'll drop in the rep link. I'll drop in the live break page link. Uh, you guys have till 355. 
you want to do something else. Uh, foul behind. Nice hit on Vince, says Eric. Absolutely. Vince Young, a fantastic hit uh, here in the breaks. 2-1 uh, Phillies in the seventh. So they are closing in on the World uh, Series. Making a World Series appearance. Uh, 49ers, 10-0 against the Chiefs. 49ers off to a great start. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, two carries, 19 yards. Uh, Mahomes had a pick. Uh, Kansas City is back in driving, though. Back in driving at the moment. 7-6 Jets over the Broncos. And the Texans just took the lead on the Raiders after a touchdown. 6-3 PAT pending, uh, potentially 7-3. So Broncos also got a touchdown, uh, but they missed the extra point. So it's everything is tough right now for Denver. Tough sledding for sure. Uh, so I will throw this out there for the customers. Uh, score predictions for tonight's game. Uh, let's do score predictions. We'll do this uh, right when we get on the air. Dolphins, Steelers, you get the right score. I'll give you guys a $20 gift card. I'll also take score predictions for the uh, Yankees and Astros. This one we must get in now because that Yankees... It's going to start while we're off the air, uh, right? 6.07, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'll be an early start. So you guys get the exact score right in the uh, Yankees-Astros game uh, or the exact score right uh, in the uh, Dolphins-Steelers game. I'll give you guys a $20 Ultimate Autograph gift card. Uh, I'll go with 3-2 Astros. Not a lot of runs so far this series. And let's go with 23-20 Dolphins. I have a feeling that the Steelers got a lot of pride. They'll keep it close tonight. 4-1 Astros. 4-1 Astros for Steven. 24-17 Dolphins. 24-17 Dolphins. So we're both thinking a little bit low on the scores tonight. If you guys are watching, let us know your score predictions for the games tonight. Uh, let us know if you want to do any more breaks. Uh, we're getting uh, a little push here. What are we pushing on? Uh, the trick-or-treat reps. I told you we it's the three one. Left. I told you it's the one we can fill. Three spots to go. Uh, so I'll give you guys to at least four here. Uh, we are close. Uh, three spots to go. Going to give you guys at least 11 minutes. If we are still three away in the next 11 minutes, we'll carry over to tonight. If we get to within like one or four, we'll give you a little more time. Uh, we got Brandon Dudick saying 4-0 Astros. I'll write this down, Brandon. I was thinking 4 nothing Astros, honestly. Okay. They've well, just been dominating them. I don't know. Yankees lineup is hibernating right now. Uh They've struck out 41 times so far in the LCS. And he picked the same score as you. 24-17 Dolphins, right? Great minds think alike. Great minds think alike. So I'll put these helmets away. Uh, I think we're what we're both going with the... Dolphins uh, and Astros. No, but the Herbert for hit of the show. Or the, Yeah. I'm, I like the Herbert jersey. Uh, I think on our video, though, we got to mention Vince Young. We could, do, we could do all of these guys. Yeah, honestly, probably all, all of these. Them. Uh, rocks a lot, lot of great hit. hits. A lot of great hits. Well, on my 15 legs of achievement, I did have Damian Lillard for 20 points. Okay. And Jeremy Grant for 10. So you're two for two. I'm two for two so far. It's only half time there. How much did you bet and how much to win? $10 to win 188 Okay. So still, still 13 legs to go. <laughs> 13 legs to go. 13 legs of achievement. And, and you got some of these guys, like, boosted. Like, like, like they're, like, lower than the expected points. You know, like... Like, was Damon Lillard's over under, like, 25? Probably, like, 20, yeah, 20. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I undercut that. Undercut it. I, I don't like do it. the over under. It's way too risky. Damian Lillard should cough and score 20 points anytime he wants to. You would think. You would think, right? You would think for sure. <laughs> and I, did, I don't think, uh, maybe I did take LeBron and, I don't remember if I did, but he has 10. Anthony Davis has 10 and a half, so they're right on pace. Perfect. Uh, LeBron, LeBron needs some help, guys. Uh, the Lakers need some shooting. They're outside. LeBron needs to go. He needs to leave. He needs to leave for his he sake. For his, for his not, not, not for their sake. He's like the lone saving grace right now on that team. He's the key to them getting pieces to like get back. back. Exactly. That's the. It's, uh, it's weird thinking that because the Lakers just won a championship. What was it? Two, three years ago. I know it was in the bubble, but that was not that long ago. No. From championship team to not making the playoffs to rebuilding, life comes at you fast, as you said earlier, Steven. Oh, actually, I guess I didn't take Demi Lillard. I took LeBron to score 20, but he looks like 
he's on pace to do that. No doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, we are on pace to knock out another break. Uh, we are three away on the rep helmets. Let's knock out this break. This show. Let's, let's make it happen this show. Uh, we have a Randy Moss full-size rep helmet. Uh, he is second all-time in receiving touchdowns, Steven. I believe fourth all-time in receiving yards. Yeah. So an absolute beast. Uh, the single season uh, touchdown catches uh, mark as well for uh, Randy Moss. So I want to see that bad boy. I uh, want to see the Tyree Kill flash. Tyree Kill leading the league in uh, receiving yards right now. So hop in there. Let's knock out this trick or treat rep series. Uh, one in three of these do contain some bonus prizes. I'm actually going to play you guys this video because you guys haven't, uh, haven't seen this this show yet. Halloween is here and Ultimate Autographs is taking you trick-or-treating. We are launching two new trick-or-treat series, a full-size replica series and a mini helmet series. Each mystery box will feature either a blue sticker or a yellow sticker in their box. A yellow sticker means you have been tricked and will receive no additional prize, but a blue sticker means you get a treat. Treats include wheel spins, UA gift cards, t-shirts, and amazing signed items from big names like Christian McCaffrey, Devonta Smith, and Joe Montana. Don't be afraid, because all there is to fear is missing out. Get spooky at ultimateautographs.com. All right, so you guys saw the video there. We talked about it. Uh, one in three chance to hop in and get an extra prize in uh, those. So we have three to go in those reps. Uh, I would like to get this knocked out two to go now. So we are two to go. Uh, that break will happen this show, guys. We'll get this break knocked out this show. Uh, could be the last break of the show. Uh, maybe it's not the last break. We heat up and do a bunch of orders. We can do more. Uh, here's what we say at Ultimate Autographs. As long as you guys are ordering, we'll break boxes for you. Uh, I know the happy hour show, we do have like a cutoff. I would say the weekend shows, there's really no cutoff. I mean... No. Uh, you guys keep the orders going. Uh, we'll keep knocking out breaks for sure. Uh, Padres just tied up the Phillies, by the way, Steven. Uh -huh. So the daddies are not done yet. Yep. The Padres, the old Padres. Uh, doing good. <laughs> uh, Chiefs are on the goal line here, looking to score a touchdown on the 49ers. Who are going to keep Mahomes away for long, uh, for sure. Well, I didn't expect them to. Uh, Seahawks up 7-0 on the Chargers. So that's Seattle. Uh, trendy play is doing good right now. Geno Smith, a touchdown pass and 76 yards already. Uh, Goodwin getting in the end zone for Seattle. So a lot of good stuff going on right now in the sports world. Uh, we got some great NFL action. Uh, most importantly, though, Stephen, we are now one away on the rep helmets. That break will close. Reps will close this show. And that will leave us as the baseball bats, the lone break. We haven't done this show. I would love to push for that as well. Only four to go. One in six chance to win a bat uh, with each order you get. Mahomes to Hardman. Touchdown Chiefs. Ten to seven now in that football game. So, uh, I guess... Didn't expect them to take them down for long. No, I did say I, I felt like we'd have points in that game. Uh, you haven't had many points yet. Definitely having points early. 10-7 Niners. Still in the first quarter. So in the first quarter. All right. Thanks, Eric McCartney. Closing us out. We're going to have a break. All right, Eric. Thank you, sir. Uh, if you are in that break, uh, drop us a box number. Drop us a box, no box number in the reps. Let's see. 6, 8, 14, 19, 20, 22, 24, and 25 available. I got some good bonus prizes available as well. So maybe we'll see one of those uh, this break, potentially. True. Uh, the Joe Montana slab you guys saw is one of the bonus prizes. I know we showed the McCaffrey mini, but the Montana slab is still out there as well. Uh, Brandon wants 14. All right, Brandon, 14 going off the ticker. Uh, we will randomize eight times for our divisions. Good luck, guys. Let's see some heat in the reps. First rep break of the show. Uh, Going to be a good one for sure. 
14. 1 4. The Ernie Banks. All right, eight clicks. Good luck, guys. Eric did want 24. We go with Weber's first. Uh, that was Brandon with the 1 4 14. All right, let's see what we got here. Eight clicks for our divisions. Who's going to get the NFC North or potentially Randy Moss? How about this? It's Devin Butterworth. Devin has got himself a Randy Moss straight cash homie jersey. Now he's looking for a Randy Moss straight cash homie full-size lunar helmet. How about a Dev? Uh, Eric's saying maybe it'll work out again. Last time he was uh, late calling out our number or didn't register. He wanted Justin Herbert. Yeah, so, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Dan Grada, new customer earlier today. Got a Terrell Davis authentic. He's in the NFC South. Larry, a single spot snipe expert. He's got the NFC East. Brandon, you've got the NFC West. He's won two headliners today already. Uh, Dan in the AFC North. Eric's got the AFC South. Chris in the AFC East. And David Hanga just won that Vince Young helmet. He's out there in the AFC West. So a lot of good folks in this break. A lot of good stuff in the break room. Let's see what we got coming here in our next break. Uh, love this series so far. All right. Here we go. Trick or treat reps number 14 coming up. All right. We got a yellow sticker here. So you guys have been tricked. No treat for you, but maybe something good coming up. I believe this guy is injured right now, uh, but he is a talented player on one of the best teams in the NFL. And it's a beautiful looking helmet. We got ourselves Sterling Shepard on the New York Giants lid. That's the NFC East. It's a single spot snipe expert, Larry Rosslin, taking home Sterling Shepard. Congrats, Larry. Uh, obviously, this helmet worth more than 46 bucks. Sterling Shepard uh, had season ending injury against the Cowboys, tore his ACL, uh, but he's had a solid career, consistently getting. Uh, more than 600 yards, 700 yards, 800 yards. Rock solid career for him so far. Congrats, Larry, on the Sterling Shepherd. Uh, that is JSA certified in the reps. So probability at Randy Moss going up. Uh, congrats, Larry, on Shepherd. This is actually maybe like one of the lesser hits this show because the show has been so good. Yeah. It has been so good. I guess still a beautiful rep helmet. It, it's a nice looking helmet. The Giants. This is actually, I believe, the Giants standard, mm -hmm. uh, and it is beautiful. The autograph is nice as well. Uh, so, Larry, Larry, uh, doing it big with the win here. Let's keep those orders going, guys. We don't have to go home. Does not have to be the last break this show, uh, but unless we get seriously moving, it might be. Uh, what are we up to, Stephen? Uh, total breaks and total boxes slash items we've shown, I guess. I know we've shown a couple bonus hits. Seven breaks, nine items. Nine items. It was the Tomlinson football and the Fred Taylor slot. Yep. Yeah. So good. Good, good, good. And we've done a wrap and, and a mini that had tricks in it. Okay. So. so that only means treats are, the odds are going up. So just saying, we did three of those breaks. One of them was a treat. One in three? Yeah. That's what the odds say. That is what the odds say. I think it's more than one in three now, though, with how few we have left. Yep. I believe the odds are even better at the current moment. So keep those orders going, guys. Uh, 401 right now. 401. Uh, let's see. Wide open on the uh, college series, the reps. We are six away on the minis. That's our closest break right now. Uh, other than the four away on the bats, which... Has been four away most of the show. Uh, so if you guys want to sell out a break, I would say the push would be the mini helmets. Six to go. Uh, 27 bucks a spot. We have a Justin Jefferson Flash Mini still out there. Uh, we also have in the listing, if you look at it, Travis Etienne is out there. And Terrell Suggs is out there. So six minis left. 50% chance you get T-Sizzle, Travis Etienne, or Justin Jefferson. I have not seen... 
these guys get pulled yet in the breaks. Definitely have not seen Jay Jettas, an absolute beast of a receiver. So let's keep those orders going. We don't have to go home yet. I would like to do a few more breaks, uh, but it is up to you guys and totally up to you guys. It is 402. We'll revisit the break page at 410. Uh, if we are relatively close, we'll keep going. If at 410, we are still where we are now, we'll sign off uh, for the early show. Eight minutes, my lucky number, eight's the dice roll. Who knows, Steven? Maybe we get moving again. Maybe. Who knows? It won't be the first time. It won't be the last time. Absolutely. Seahawks up 14-0 now. 14-0 on the Chargers. Holy moly. Uh, Kenneth Walker, the great Michigan State running back, with the rushing touchdown. Uh, the NFL, man, it's, it's wild. You never know. Uh, you know, you look at the power rankings. Chargers were considered like a... Top four team in the league this year before Again, the season. Their roster would lead you to think that's possible. Yeah, Seahawks yeah, were never... considered bottom four, uh, and the Seahawks are up 14 0. The Texans, again, entering the season. Raiders, a lot of hype. Texans, no hype. Texans beating the Raiders right now. The Jets are beating the Broncos. I mean, even the 49ers upsetting the Chiefs right now. True. Uh, any given Sunday in the NFL. You never know. Uh, any given Monday as well uh so much uh great games thursdays too uh alan kessler saying hello what's up alan kessler uh alan is a huge steelers fan he really wants that terry bradshaw jersey uh we are down to nine jersey boxes left alan all in the room all on the ticker uh terry bradshaw is still out there uh also the nachi harris slab is out there uh that is also a big steelers item potentially for mr kessler so hope, hope all is good, Alan. Uh, we are taking score predictions for the game tonight. Uh, you guessed the correct score in the Steelers-Dolphins game. Uh, we'll give you a $20 Ultimate Autographs gift card. Uh, we are on the last call for orders, guys. It is 4.04. We have until uh, 4.10. If we are within a few spots away, we'll keep going. Otherwise, at 4.10, we'll sign off for the early show and reset for tonight. Uh, very, very good show today, though, Stephen. Uh, a lot of good stuff. Uh, decent amount of boxes. So we did decent quantity-wise, but quality-wise, we yeah, were yeah. amazing. Sure. I mean, Herbert, Aikman coming out the show, Jonathan Taylor, Vince Young, Terrell Davis. Uh, we had a Daniel Tomlinson giveaway. Uh, everything was good. Uh, question, I called customer service about my jersey. Still no answer. So, Alan, uh, our customer service team is not in on weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, you are welcome to call them again on Monday. I will say this. Uh, email tends to be the best way to contact them. So shoot them an email as well. Uh, but uh, we will definitely get in touch with you. I'll let our customer service team know as well. Uh, but uh, usually our customer service folks go home uh, at the end of the day weekdays uh at 5 p.m mm -hmm. so you want to call again uh between like nine and five on monday you through might friday. get a hold of them monday through friday uh also you can email them that one it's possible to check on the weekend i don't know no promises but if you're looking for an immediate response email is the way to go for sure so alan uh maybe they'll get a hold of you tomorrow when i come in tomorrow alan I will check in with them and let them know your concerns, sir. Uh, so let's knock out some more breaks. Four more minutes. Uh, who was in mini number two? This guy, Larry. Troy Aikman. I would say that's not a bad second mini break. Mm -hmm. uh, Troy Aikman was in mini number two. Six minis left. Justin Jefferson is out there, Larry. Uh, even if that doesn't break this break, or this show, rather, I would still encourage you to hop in and get your spots because that break will break tonight at 7, obviously. Uh, it will obviously break tonight at 7. Uh, so hop in there and let's knock out some fire in the mini helmets. Otherwise, last call for orders, 410. Uh, we've already done the chase wheel spin. Uh, we've already talked kid of the show. Uh, Justin Herbert jersey for us, but a lot of good honorable mentions as well. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, eight snaps, four touches, 
44 yards, 11 yards a snap. I would say uh, so far early fitting in in San Francisco for sure for McCaffrey. And I thought he would. Uh, Shanahan's a great offensive mind. Uh, Jimmy G's decent. I know Debo, George Kittle, they got some good players. Even though I have the 49ers losing this game today, uh, they look like the NFC West champion team to me with how the Rams have struggled. Still. Yeah, and I think I took the 49ers in our preseason to go. Yeah. So, so it's looking like... It's possible. I think they'll meet the Eagles in Philadelphia. That's right. At the NFC title game. And, and the 49ers have more experience in those settings. They They tend to also travel well. Again, that's the way they play. They play great defense, and they uh, and, and, and they run the ball. And they traveled well in Green Bay. Like, they're a warm-weather team. They shouldn't have gone into Lambeau and won last year, but guess what they did? Uh, Larry says, I'm, I'm in three, I think. Is he in the third mini? I do have him in the third one. All right, Larry, you're in the third one. Anyone else want to do a mini break? Uh, let us know. Uh, we are five away on the minis. So that is uh, the most likely break here. Going to give you guys a couple more minutes. If we knock out a couple more spots, we can break this this show. Justin Jefferson Flash Mini is still out there. Jay Jettas with six boxes left. Again, uh, resetting it for all the customers in case you guys just hopped in. Brow Suggs, Travis Etienne are out there as well. Uh, who's all in on the minis right now, Steve? Got Larry, David, and Dan Grata. All right. So if you guys want to hop into the minis, uh, do so now. Do so now. Uh, otherwise, that could be a good pre-fill for tonight's show. So since we knocked off some spots, I'll give you guys a few more minutes. I'm going to give you guys six minutes here, 4.15. Uh, Steven, I'm a nerd about ending shows at like 4.10, 4.15, 4.20, etc. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys uh, six more minutes here. Uh, if we can knock out uh, a few more spots, get to like two or three or less, I'll give you guys more time. If we're still at five away or if we're just at four away, we'll sign off at 4.15. Uh, Don Veluso asking, what's the next mini series looking like? Let me see if we have this created. I think it's the X's and those minis. Yes, I think so as well. Uh, I am not sure if we have this created yet. Let's it take should a look be. Here. X's and O's. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll show you the next mini helmet series right now, Don Beluso. Uh, let me pull this up here on the randomizer. My first look at this as well. Oh, my. Uh, I would say the next mini helmet series is pretty good. Uh, Brian Dawkins, Roger Staubach, Deion Sanders, Tyree Kill on the camo helmet. We got Najee Harris on the flash, DeAndre Swift on the flash. And Justin Herbert on the Flash Mini. Uh, pretty good mini helmet series. I actually really dig that Deion Sanders eclipse on the Niners. Uh, we do have Deion on the Falcons, the Cowboys, the Niners sometimes. Uh, love that Niners eclipse mini. Dom's a, obviously a Dolphin fan. Uh, first time seeing a Hill camo. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say that's a pretty solid uh, mini helmet series for sure. So we will drop that as soon as we close out the current one. So that could be, we could drop it tonight if we get hot. It could be tomorrow or whatever works. Uh, Starbox pretty cool, says Dom Beluso. I agree, Dom. Uh, Dom, for you, a note, uh, we do have score predictions. It's something new we're doing here. $20 ultimate autograph gift card to anyone who guesses the score right, typically in the primetime games. So give us a score for the Dolphins and Steelers game tonight. You get the exact score right. We'll send you a $20 gift card, Mr. Beluso. Hope hope you're good, Dom. I haven't seen Dom in a long time. I know yeah. I had that two-week European vacation. I have not seen from Dom uh, over, over a month. have not seen this guy in the room. Uh, so good to have you back, Dom. Even if you're just chatting, we appreciate that. Uh, always here in the break room. This is kind of weird, Steven. Donald, so, look at that. You predicted 24 yeah, 17 he just said Dolphins. 17, or who did he take? Well, he's taking the Fins. Yeah, I was going to say, right? Dolphins? Guy. Okay. So we had Brandon Dudick predicting 24 17 Dolphins. Steven predicted 24 17 Dolphins. Uh, so 
I have 23-20 Dolphins, by the way. Larry's going 27-17 Dolphins. All right, so Dom, 24-17 Dolphins for Beluso. Uh, then we got uh, Larry, 27-17 Dolphins. Uh, Eric McCartney's going 24-18 Steelers. He's like, we will shock the world again. I think you can book Mike Tedesco for 69-0 Steelers. That's fair. I think you can and, book that and, one. And if the Steelers win 69-0, I'll, I'll give them $100 of my own money. <laughs> I, I'll give them 69 of UA's money. $69 <laughs> gift card. You get that score right. So uh, last call for orders, guys. Three more minutes. We are five away on the minis. Uh, we can get to three away or less. We'll keep going. Otherwise, we'll reset for tonight's 7 p.m. show. So keep those orders going. I would love to do another break, uh, but I'm also okay with resetting uh, for the 7 p.m. show. I uh, five away, a good chance to pre-fill that break tonight. Uh, let's see the baseball score here. 2-2, two, two, right? 2-2 two, two at last check. Uh, David Honga, 3-2 Padres now. Ooh. So, uh, they're like, we're not done yet. Uh, I mean, not to say that both teams are even, but they're both playing well. It seems like they're pretty even. And they kind of, and they kind of conquered their, their demons. You know, the Padres got to conquer the Dodgers. The Phillies got to conquer the Braves. They're we'll see. riding high. We'll see. Uh, David saying 17-13 Dolphins. Uh, with all the injuries in our secondary, and I think it'll take a quarter or two for Tua to get back in game rhythm. But Tua has literally been the best fourth quarter QB rating since 1997. That's impressive. Uh, that's what Dom is saying. Dom, the best quarterback rating uh, in the NFL among all quarterbacks. Better than Josh Allen. Better than Patrick Mahomes. Uh, since Tua's been hurt, they haven't won a game. When Tua was healthy, they won all the games. Yes. <laughs> so pretty straightforward. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, for the Dolphins season so far. Uh, so last call here, guys, 414. Uh, we are winding down. Uh, and let me know if you guys want to do any other final breaks. Uh, otherwise, back here at 7 p.m. Central Time, uh, 4 and 7 Central Time, uh, Monday through Friday, 2 and 7 Central Time on Saturdays and Sundays. So any orders that were made into the breaks today, uh, they will carry over to the 7 p.m. show. Uh, before we go, though, uh, Dom's got a question, and we've got an answer, Dom. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on what he asks. Uh, really good stuff today, though. Like, Dom Veluso, like, some of the regulars about, like, six, eight weeks ago, uh, we've Im improved our filler hits. Uh, we've improved our breaks. Uh, we have better stuff right now than we've ever had. Like, Vince Young wasn't a headliner name. Uh, you know, we had... Jonathan Taylor coming out today, Troy Aikman, Justin Herbert, Terrell Davis, not a headliner. A lot of good stuff for sure. Uh, Dom says, is it weird to decorate the interior of your house for Halloween? Uh, my you're, girlfriend if you're and... single, yes. If you're not, if you're dating someone, no. Not weird. <laughs> uh, uh, my girlfriend and her mom definitely do that. They're huge Some Halloween people. really people. love Halloween, so... Yeah. Not weird at all, Dom Beluso. Nope. Uh, I am good with you doing that, sir. Let me refresh the break page here. But does he want to do it, or does does Mrs. Liz want? So. Does Liz want? Oh, maybe maybe he's looking for us to say it is weird, so yeah, that yeah, so that, we can justify so it. So we can her. justify it to Liz. It's not weird, unfortunately. I, I, it's weird if you're by yourself. So you do it. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. But exactly, I, I wouldn't make do it. things work out with my girlfriend and me. Go down that path in the future. My, she would do house, that. His house will be interior decorated. Yes, for Halloween, no doubt. Uh, my girlfriend is a. Uh, Halloween addict, Stephen. She is obsessed with Halloween. It's her favorite holiday by far. Uh, Dom says, okay, because my house is covered in spider webs, and I did it for my daughter, and I sat there that is and also said, a why, LOL? That is also a good reason. It's a good reason. Do it for the daughter, Dom. If, if, I like that. If your daughter, I'm guessing, is below the age of 10, I would definitely do that. Even if kids she's like 11 that. or 12, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Make, make it happen. If your daughter loves Halloween, then absolutely. I like that. Nope, no need to say why. That's awesome, Tom. That's what you should do. Do it for the daughter. I like it. I'm not really into the spirit. He said seven. Seven to be close something? No, she's seven. Oh, oh she's yeah. seven years old. Okay. Yeah. So it's like box seven. I was going to say, like, I'm not all into the spirit. I mean, I'm in the spirit, but, like, I don't want to set up my house for Christmas because you know what that means. That I have to put it up. You got to take it and down. And I got to take it down. 
and I would rather do I'd rather do a bunch of other things with my time. Sure. But when I have children, that's gonna be part of it. That's just I'm I understand that and I'm happy to do it. Yeah. But if I was by myself and I had the choice, I would not take the time to do it. Yeah. I, I pretty much echo what you're saying, Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Don Beluso saying DK being carted off. Is that DK Metcalf? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Dob- Dobbins. Right Dobbins. He's already out. <laughs> uh, so I've got the Chiefs game up in the background. Uh, Chiefs are near midfield and driving. Uh, I can see Ryan being like a Clark Griswold with kids, Stephen Ryan. Uh, I, you know, I actually would love to do vacations and have a lot of fun with my kids. Christmas, Stephen, I'm likely to do something like that. Halloween, not as much. I'm a Christmas guy, uh, but Stephen, I'd say I'm more Christmas than Halloween. Yeah, I don't know if I see you doing that. I don't see you as a Clark Griswold. Personally. I don't know what that means. Have you seen the um, uh, what is it called? Uh, I, know, I know it's a character from a show. National Lampoon Christmas Vacation, like a guy that's super into Christmas and takes his family on a Christmas vacation, a big trip. That does not sound like you to me. No. Uh, obviously, I know you a little bit better yeah. than Don Beluso You want to know does. why? Because that's called surcharging on airlines. Everything's high. No, he does, it, he does it with a car. It's a road trip with a car. No. <laughs> so that, uh, that, Screaming children in my car. That might be even worse. Talk about my worst nightmare. Oh, gosh, yeah. I actually... I'm ready to do it, but I'm just saying. But Believe no. it or not, I would kind of embrace that. My girlfriend would be obsessed with it. Yeah. Uh, I would actually embrace it. I like car rides, uh, and I think that would be a I lot like of fun. I like car rides, sure. too, and I think it would be fun to experience those with my kids, but it's not going to be a National Lampoon type of deal. No, that's... It's the... going to be a one-time, and if we like it, maybe we'll do it again. But if yeah. we don't like it... It will never happen again. Oh, my gosh. I like it. <laughs> I guess it's always worth a try. Always exactly. worth a try. you got to give the chance to experience it. That I'm for, but I don't okay. think that's how it's going to work with me. That's fair. Uh, all right. Well, Stephen, I think we're at a good uh, leaving off point. We didn't get any orders in the next few last few minutes. Uh, we did give you guys more time. Unfortunately, you guys didn't come through this time, but a lot of folks came through throughout the whole show. So I want to give you guys... A special shout out uh, in Xmas Vacation. They stay home, says Don Beluso. Okay, well, that sounds more like a, a Stephen Ryan thing, I guess. I mean, travel for, we travel. I go to yeah. my aunts for Christmas Eve, and then I'm sure for Christmas I go to my wife's family now. Sure. So I have yeah. things I'm doing. I'm not staying home. Yeah, so that makes sense. I'm active. Uh, Brandon Dudek says sign off and see you tonight. All right, Brandon, ask and you shall receive. We are signing off. And you will definitely see us tonight. Again, uh, all the orders uh, that were bought into and didn't fill up tonight, uh, we'll see those breaks tonight at 7 p.m. It's 4 and 7 Monday through Friday Central Time, 2 and 7 on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, See you guys in a few hours.